good to go. I think. I hope. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Unexpectables. I might be sounding like I'm going coming out of a tin can because Discord's decided that it needs a lot less Taka, and I can't necessarily disagree with it. We're joined, as always, by people with better microphones. Distortion Devil! Hey, that's me. <laughs> it is. What, what? You can find me. Fucking, you've done this before. What the fuck? Come on. Come yeah. On. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, so it was we'll like hundred first date, hundred first <laughs> dates. Am I fucking? Am I? Am I goddamn Adam Sandler? <laughs> Adam Sandler, floop floop, pretty doop. You can find me on Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, I am also uh, right here on Saturdays with the Prince Division. It's gotten really interesting as well. If you haven't, uh, yeah, an episode. So, watch the Prince Division. So much death. So much gay. Whoa! Does anyone slam their badge down and their gun? Fine, take my badge and gun. Has that <laughs> no. happened yet? It is no. imperative that that happens. You, you gotta go rogue. You gotta at one point. <laughs> Damn it! You're a loose cannon. We're gonna <laughs> screw you down and make sure you don't fall again. <laughs> <laughs> But um, bump, but um, bump, dad joke. Should I give away what Obby's Ob class is in the introduction, Shen? Are you okay if I do that? Oh yeah, I don't mind. Okay. Uh, but it has to be Con Connor, are you done? Yeah. Oh okay, <laughs> guys and Goomba. Hey everyone, a Gaijin Goomba here. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. No H every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday, and probably more in the mornings because I have fun streaming then. Um, man, I've been replay. Oh, replaying. I've uh, pulled out Muramasa Rebirth. Holy shit, that game's good. Like, Vanillaware games are just really good. Um, played through the um, Fishy Nekomata quests. That's literally what it's called. Um, there's so much DLC. I still haven't even touched the main game. Like, a lot I'm going to tear into that. Taiko Tuesdays has always been great. I desperately need to find a new game, uh, but that's either here or there. I do have to say that um, can can I can I pimp my my race yet again? No. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Too, too bad. <laughs> anyway, um, no. The freaking uh, homebrew Tanuki race has been an absolute rousing success, and probably starting either later this week or early this weekend, I'm gonna start working on the next one, which is probably gonna be the Kappa. A lot of people want Kitsune, but that's going to be a massive book, all things considered. So thank you guys for that. Uh, definitely check that out. Um, lastly, I've got a big ass video. I mean, this we're talking twenty minute video on uh, Spirited Away coming out Ooh. tomorrow for patrons, and then coming out Friday for everyone else. I am crossing every finger I have that Ghibli doesn't rip it down. Y you see the fucking sniper dot on his forehead as we speak. No, look, Dude, it's it, like it, it, they've it's, already it's, ripped it down. That's why it's not up right now. It's 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 <laughs> no, it's like this. As if they just ban it from people in Japan seeing it, I don't care. My audience over there is so minuscule, it doesn't even matter. So that's, I, I, they could, they can, they could take the monetization away from it for all I care, just as long as it's publicly accessible. So right on. Okay, that's me. Hey, Zeno. Hey, I'm over here. Okay, let me try this one more time. Hey, Zeno. Hey, Freeman. You gotta wake the fuck up, you schmuck. You fly brick. I ain't saying you's a bum, but you had seven long clocks up your ass. That meme is so stupid good. Hi, everyone. <laughs> That's such a good meme. You, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Zeno. Uh, normally on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, uh, where homebrew happens, uh, art streams happen. Currently working on a Rivals of Aether mod where you get to play as a Minotaur who has the same physics as Popeye the Sailor Man, which is dumb and stupid and fun as shit. Uh, Homebrew-wise, uh, there isn't a lot of stuff going out on DM's Guild just yet, but there's a lot going down on my Patreon, which is the Everingen Almanac. Currently, I have, I have somewhat taken... I got out of my funk and my hiatus, and now I have three books in the works, and the play tests are all available on the Patreon right now. Damn. All righty. Hey, Shenpai. Mm-hmm. What up, G? W what's up? Hi. <laughs> where can they where can where can they find you? 
you can find me mostly on twitch.tv slash uh i do a lot of final fantasy 14 uh because i'm very heavy in the rating scene and we're currently working on the hardest fight in the game which is the epic of alexander if you don't know what that Ooh. is uh let's just say it's it, it, it's called an ultimate fight for a reason oh, <laughs> and we've worked on this fight for about five months now <laughs> what have you beaten yeah. it? Have you beaten them? No, but we're very close. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like you it's play this like, big as a house. I have not heard someone so cautious. Like I, I can hear the pride and also the sorrow at the same time. In your voice. <laughs> and I want you to know I have not heard that since the original Nax Ramus in World of Warcraft. <laughs> No, nah. <laughs> no, it's it's really it's really really rough because the static life is terrible because there's drama that suddenly someone doesn't want to do it anymore, so you have to replace them, and ah, uh, it's just so much so much stress. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm ma uh, mostly streaming right now. But I also play Persona Five uh, Royale, uh, and uh, I've got my eyes on Final Fantasy VII remake and probably on Xenoblade Chronicles. Mm. Nice. Hmm. But yeah, that's what's happening in my life. <laughs> Monty. Oh no. What? Hi. Why'd you kill the bear? I mean, he was in our. He was, you know, he was on my turf. <laughs> he was just sitting on his ass eating flowers. Like mm. those were our flowers. It, it was like straight, straight from the Simpsons episode with the bear. It's not even funny. It, it was, was just like so. It was, was just was minding its own business, and then he just goes berserk with a frying pan on it. Was this from the comic that went up? No, there was the a comic bear is backyard. based off a of video. No, I know, I know, but I was just was this because of the comic? Like we've heard well, no, the, the story. No, the comic the comic was me as a child, but then we had a repeat because uh, yesterday there was a bear behind our house, and oh. like I didn't know about it. I guess Dad was texting me about it, uh, but I I went upstairs to go throw out some garbage, and then they were both like, "Oh my God, there's a bear in the backyard!" I'm like, "Kurt, you got to film me with a frying pan running to fight that bear," and so we did that, and it was fun. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, no. Jeez. But where can I find you, Nadine? Uh, you can find me fighting bears at Montego on Twitter. Uh, or you can also see me talking about frogs because I'm, I'm thinking about frogs. Um, but you can find me at Montego on Twitter where I just kind of tweet nonsense and other such things, art and otherwise fan art. Uh, you can catch me um, at twitch.tv forward slash Montego where tomorrow, uh, if you guys haven't caught the first part, I am playing Devil May Cry Blind. I've never played the series before. Oh, Our yeah. first episode was last week. Uh, I started off by hating it, and now I kind of love it. Um, it. It's getting better over time. Um, I'm sorry, fighting I'm puppets. Stop. A, I fighting puppets in a tight hallway where I can't see them like show like using their moves is very frustrating. But now that we're in big giant open battle arenas where I can hop and jump around like a wahoo man, it's very fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the, boss, the boss fights are really really good. I almost threw up from the water parts, um, and also oh. at one point I asked if I ran out of bullets. So if you want to see me bumble around like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Seriously, I, I, I was like, I was like, wait, if I had a bullet, do I have to get ammo in this game? <laughs> you all have such moments like that. Definitely, uh, definitely check it out. The YouTube up is on my channel, but you can also catch part two, I think. Yeah, tomorrow. So it's a blast. Oh, you. I was man, watching yes. Man, I was way. I was about to make a fucking frog pun, but that just threw me off. <laughs> I think you said we're halfway through the first game, Connor. Uh, we're a little bit over halfway through the first thing, okay. I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just fought Griffin, the bird so guy. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I was, I was there for the love of Spider Scorpion, but it's like, when did you, when did you have the ammo question? I have. That to was know like this. near the beginning. That was near Early the. Beginning. Okay, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. Because like I was shooting in the air, and then when I landed, I couldn't shoot because I didn't know what the aim button was. So I was like, am I out of bullets? So that was my logical <laughs> progression. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so you can catch that tomorrow. It's a great time. It's if you can see me react to everything. I don't know what's going on. Just know it's a spoiler-free stream. So if you if you talk about spoilers, you will get timed out. I will kill you. Will Connor? Ooh. Connor, calm down. Um, but... Connor won't even kill you. He'll get a really high combo on on that kill, man. He's really good. good. Oh yeah, he'll yeah. just trigger you into timeout. So so far so good. I I like the series, but the cutscenes are very concerning. Um, and then <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna get any better either. <laughs> Sunday. I mean, she stabbed it through the chest and it threw a motorcycle at him. You know, it was already on it, fire. It, it, was like, <laughs> it's only going to get more crazy. It's only um, going to get more crazy. If that's where the bar is for so, you, oh, Monty, I'm sorry. So, so uh, Sunday as well, uh, we're finishing up Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We're at the final, like, three fights of the game. Um, I'm not going to 100% the game. I'm only going to purify all the Shadow Pokemon. That's the goal. And then after that, we're going to call it there. 
uh, and then move on to I'm thinking Final Fantasy IX. So if you have ever wanted to check out Final Fantasy IX, it is my second favorite Final Fantasy, but probably the most nostalgic one. Definitely check that out on Sundays, uh, and I'll be uploading that as well. Anyway, sorry, that took a long time. I apologize. Go. And you, can, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where today I, I finished... I finished the Stick of Truth, and uh, that was a lot of fun to play that. Um, as well, uh, tomorrow we, of course, have Multiverse and Nexus Wrestling over at, on my channel. And this weekend, I think there will be a little bit of Warhammer, uh, Total Warhammer 2, because the orcs just got updated. Ooh. Thank Christ the orcs got updated, and now they're actually fun to play. As uh, well, I'll be throwing down with the Fractured Butthole, which is, of course, a sequel to the Stick of Truth. And as on those Warhammer streams, Zoran the Bear might join me, and we might be teammates or enemies. I can't quite tell what we're going to do yet, but that will be, of course. If only you had a physical my... army here so we could play. Well, we'll just oh. be patient. Be patient. I gotta get. I gotta wait for all the. I gotta wait for all those um, uh, Tau rail guns to get in. Trip tides. You are playing. The Excuse me. Trip tides. Trip. Not on. I have rip tides. I don't have rip tides. I'm joking. I'm forty percent rip tide right now. Actually. <laughs> blood letters. Help me escape the hell of forty blood letters. I have so many blood letters. No, that you said yes. You said that's, yes to the forty blood letters. That's the that's the proper amount of blood. I say that's too little. Oh God. You've just started. You've just, sta you've just started, and you've already done the most corn thing possible. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Kurt, read bits. You have 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, I have 10 minutes. I will read off the bits then. I will do that. Sorry, we're late, by the way. It's fine. I mean, you they guys don't forgive you. A little later. Sorry, okay. one second. It's taking a second to update here. And there we are. All right. A lot of people to thank here. I want to, I want to thank Jai Kaiser for gifting five subs to the community. I want to thank Rogel Doan, Meister Worst, E Pam. Thank you for the subs. Lord Detario, Barbecue Man, Toro, 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 29. Thank you so much as well for the subs. S Wolf 95 gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to S Wolf 95 and Jai Kaiser. Not Dante. 42, thank you so much. Renfield, 88, gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much to Renfield, 88. God damn, Renfield. Thank you so much. Philip Chandler with the five subs as well. God damn, Philip Chandler. Oh, you guys be so nice with gifting those sub bombs. Thank you very much. The Big Evil, 103. Oh, thank you. Bizarre Coyote, and thank you so much for the subs. And Natalie Pauly gifting five subs, just like Philip Chandler just did. Natalie Pauly, thank you so much for the five subs. Greatly appreciate that kindness. Slipknot Lobster, Elf Lord, Macmon, Grimlass Prime, Script Daddy, Daddy, Oh Daddy, Fabulous Gay Bear, Dragon Alchemist 51, Alone Wolf Largy, and Walling 1012. Thank you so much for the subs. The Taubs dropping 20 subs to the community. God damn the Taubs. Snap for the Taubs. That's a very kind donation. That's. Well, that was really. I. Uh, come on, guys. Let's really flex on I Zito tried. here. I tried. I can't. I can't. Just say oh, the Oh, wow. Snap. You, Zito? Oh, man. I'm so yes. sorry. Listen. Listen. Taka, could you, you, could you imagine if you, were, if you were an X-Man and your power was you couldn't snap? That's you're, an anti-power. You, 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 <laughs> it ain't snapping that I can't do. It's whistling I can't do. Oh. oh. <laughs> so I'm the only one who can't snap? Apparently. No. No. <laughs> Shin, just save the word yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Do you hear that? Oh, oh, there you go. Uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> I, wait, I'm suspect on that. Mark Wolf, thank you so much for the five subs. Give to the community as well. Mark Wolf, thank you so much. White Fox, up, thank you for the sub. Again, Mark Wolf, thank you. Simon the Pie, whoa, gifting five subs to the community. Well, thank you so much, Simon the Pie, Ro. Greatly appreciate that. A cynical Spirit Double Zero, thank you so much for the bits. Black Affair with the elite bits. Bosco Raid, also a frying pan, is a high crit vorpal weapon. Just ask Kiwi. It's true. <laughs> it is true. And the Dean has proficiency. Spock Zombie, the Emperor of Penguin Kind. Point Dexter, the Kaleidoscape. Script Daddy Daddy gifting a sub to the Tau Empire for the greater good. Thank you very much, Script Daddy. Ban Hat, the Skull Do you Know. Mythos Cool. Thank you so much. Sakito, thank you for the sub. Script Daddy gifting a sub to Snap. Well, thank you very much for that. <laughs> and as well, John49357, thank you for the bits. The dog is happy with the 500 bits. My best friend is getting married tomorrow. Take my celebration bits. Oh, thank you. Woo. Ow, son of Congrats a to him. 
right on the bridge of the nose. Doc is happy. Thank you, though. I want to thank Scuba Steve, 1258, for the 800 plus bits. Hey, guys, thanks for giving me something to look forward to every week. Good luck with the rolls. Thank you. Not, not, not Monty, though. No, none of, none of that. Not, especially not in combat. No, I want, you, I want all your boys to be tripping. I want them to all be tripping. <laughs> like, ah, oh, my shoelaces are tied. Lone Wolf Largy with 1,000 plus bits. I can't stay long. I have to go to work. So before I leave, number one, Gaijin, as a request from one of your patrons, consider learning infestation. Two, during the final battle, when you guys use the mech dragon, I'm expecting some Voltron-style shit during it. Three, and finally, all my love and bits for all you, especially Austin. Whoa, Austin's not here, so... Um, uh, Connor, Austin you has can... a girlfriend. Uh, yeah, so. uh, Connor, Connor, you can have the love <laughs> instead. Here, let's give it to Connor. Connor, Connor can use it. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> well, I wrote Kaiser the Metal with the 1500 bits. Hey, guys, I'm at work. Oh, shit. Oh, but damn. just want to let you know that damn. you guys give me something to look forward to every week, and your positivity has helped me through my worst times. Well, I wrote Kaiser in the Middle. Thank you so much for the 1500 bits, and I hope you have a good night. Salute, headshot, salute with 3000 bits. Get some! <laughs> Well, that's 3,000 bits, I'm assuming, but thank you so much to Salute Headshot Salute. Matt for the Warlock, thank you for the bits. Black Dragon Cleric with a 2,000 bits. Been looking forward to this all week. Let's get into possible emotional heavy, heavy stuff tonight. Have some bits for the awesome cast and bad rolls for Monty. Let's do this! Thank you so much, Black Dragon Cleric, for the 2,000 bits. That. Peter Piper, the portable open. Thank you for the 1,500 bit. What? What? I'm sorry, that, 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 that fucking, I thought all of that was one word as a name, and somehow that got a giggle out of me. I don't, I'm sorry. I, I actually got to correct that. Peter Piper, the portable pen. Peter Piper, the portable pen. Oh, that's awesome, though. There we go. There, that, 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 that's a, there we go. Nah, okay, I'll say that five times fast. Peter Piper, the portable pen. Damn it. 1,501 bits. Thank you so much, Connor. What would happen if Panic met Wolfgang? Wolfgang would shoot Panic in the head. What? What? He's a demon. And there's no tieflings in that world, remember? Oh, that's yeah, crazy. there's no tieflings. There's no tieflings. So you'd be like, fucking demons! You know, oh, it, it, would be like that scene. it would be really like the scene with Brad Pitt and George Clooney and Burn After Reading. Hi, bang! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peter Piper, the portable pen, thank you so much. Slept Truck, thank you for the sub. Phoenixia, 52, thank you so much for the sub. And Son of JJ, thank you so much as well. Uh, I want to thank you guys all for the bits. King Smithers, 488 with the 500 bits. Finally able to watch you guys live. You guys are great. Keep it up. All I can give for now. Sorry. Don't apologize. Thank you no, for the 500 no, bits, though. No, never apologize for that. Never, never a fucking apologize. Never. Never apologize do that. Apologize for thinking you had to apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you you know. apologize for that. <laughs> Savanders. <laughs> Savanders. So Savanders with a thousand bits. Woo! Been waiting for more D and D since Monday. So in celebration, by drinking a nice bottle of expensive gin, Uncle Val's BT Dubs. Oh, and just for curiosity's sake, what is the current party's favorite alcoholic beverages? An open one for Borky. Oh, in party shit. Yeah. Okay. That I was about to give a real answer. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> if it's in party, I, 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 I would assume it's in character. You know what? Whiskey. Oh. Fuck it. Because that's that's both a real life and an in game. Answer. Really not fireball for task? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, that, that fits. Right. Oh, that's no taka. I like that because it fits and it's silly. Mm. I, I fucking like that actually. That's usually how I get cast, actually. Ah. <laughs> uh, Draconis uh, with a 1,500 bit. Sorry, I got to keep going through the bits here. I just want to say someone who's been effectively stuck in a hotel in Japan these last three months with all the shenanigans oh. going on. Thanks for keeping me sane and enjoying my deployment bits. Keep being awesome, you guys, and may the dice be in your favor tonight. Draconos, thank you so much for the 1,500 bits, and may you not be there as long as you have been eventually. I think that's a safe way of putting it. I hope thank you don't so much for the Zandwin with the 500 bits. Thank you for the last three years of Epic Takes My Bits. Ooh, thank you, Zandwin. Yeah. Dragonlord22 with 1,000 bits. Am I, uh, I am new. DM any tips? Throw shit at the wall, see what sticks. Have fun. Start small, build up from there. Run a pre-made if, if you don't want to spend the time making something homebrew. Yeah. Also, whatever you planned will not happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lucky it's dog, Chris. It's true. Whatever you plan won't happen. That's just what you have to. That's, that's literally what you have to accept. Looking down, Chris, thank you for the sub. Peter Piper, the portable pen with 500 bits. 
More bets for getting the tongue twister in my name. You guys are amazing. Keep it up. Well, which we'll try. Savanders with 660 mix. Fixer task would be done. Made from the blood. Would be, would be done. Made from the blood of Darkus. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. And daddy. Daddy. Oh, daddy. Gifting us hub to Le Jake. Well, thank you so much. And that is everybody, Nadine. Okay. You guys hey. ready to start? Hell yeah. Hold on. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Okay. Woo. So... When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and a new found friend in Object 8, the Construct Forge Cleric, the party, after crashing and damaging the Colossal Dragon Construct, were forced to take up positions in the Cobalt Inventor Den, forging, sewing, and shoveling. As they were working, suddenly a large prototype golem went rogue, evidence of a reject. After the party dispatched the reject, Oriara called her constructs to lead the party to her great pendulum in the mountain and allow them access to its peak to meet with Robald. Seeing the drive and potential in the party, Robald allowed them access to Ori Oriara's sacred realm. Now, as the party steps through the door, you guys move through the door and are immediately met uh, with an endless expanse. Panic is going to pause before he enters through the door, actually. Uh, he is going to pull out the Orb of Sending. Okay. <clears throat> and he is going to message Helena. Okay. Just gonna, gonna say, don't know when I can send again. Doing crazy stuff. <clears throat> I'll contact as soon as I can. Don't know when. Okay. Yeah. The response is immediate because it's kind of night ish time. Be safe. May Oren guide your path. And Liversia protect you. <sighs> okay. Hopefully Liversia is in there. Okay. All of you step through? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. The moment you step through, you guys are all <clears throat> free floating. <clears throat> uh well. Uh, yeah. Well, was that like a zero G? Yeah, like immediately zero G. And the moment you step through the door, the door disappears. Oh, Ooh. oh no, I have a scritch on my side. I, oh, no, 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 no. You start spinning. <laughs> ah! Uh, what, what is, uh, what does our location look like? Since there's no ground or anything, is there any point of interest or any sort of landmass we can take, uh, interest in? No, it is just like the sky plane. There is no sky. It's not dark in here. It's almost like a glow of amber starlight would be the way I would describe it. Almost how Abby grow like glows. Abby's kind of got this sort of like forge like glow that comes from them internally, and it almost echoes in this realm. Uh, I I could nerd out right now and actually like explain this as a texture for a three D for a three a, a three D texture for a game, but I choose not to right now. <laughs> Okay, so, Abby, do you know where we're going? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are just, like, completely, like, like, no! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> Wee! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Guys, I'm not finding this fun right now! But yeah, he just looks like, oh, no. Is Log here with us? Yeah, Log's here with you guys. Well, how about how about you, Log? Has Oriara told you anything? She tells me everything. Whee! <laughs> okay, time out. Is, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Is Log actually moving in, in some sort of line, or is he just still spinning? He's just spinning and having a fun time. Okay. What does is, what is our surroundings look like? Nothing. It's just... A sky plane of, of amber light. Well, we're getting I nowhere wanna, slowly. I wanna I um. wanna test something. Okay. I pull out a normal arrow 
and I take a shot just to see how it travels. Okay, you roll a roll just a general shot for me. Thing. Yeah, open up, open up the tab, please. Open up the tab. Thank you very much, game. Here I go. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. You shoot the arrow, and usually when you shoot the arrow, you know it flies. You shoot the arrow, and it just stays in place. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> uh, Panic is going to cast Thaumaturgy. Hello? 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 Like an echo chamber, it gets louder and louder and then comes back and kind of hurts your ears and eventually disappears. Uh, uh, and thaumaturgy's off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll float over and grab the arrow, I guess. I mean, you don't have to float over. It's just right in front of you. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah. Money, is there any, like... Moving, moving limbs and hands and feet around. Is there any resistance? It feels heavy, but not like you're being restricted. If that makes sense, it feels like your muscles yeah. are tired. But um, beyond that, it feels kind of mechanical. If that makes sense, your body feels kind of mechanical. Hmm. No. Can I try swimming? Yeah, I was about to say. Here, go ahead and try swimming. I will uh, roll try swimming. Just Roll an athletics check just for funsies. Oh, great. My best stat. Yeah, you're not alone. Oh, <laughs> roll 20, please. What's in that one? I'm glad to get out of the way now. Uh, oh, no, you're running to me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Panic, you kind of like, You kind of like swim, and then you get to a certain point, like, but it feels like you're being pulled back like a magnet pole, and you're brought back to the rest of the party. Uh, oh, Greco's no, all right. Greckles, you like thrash, you're like, no, 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 like, you know, when a kid is trying to swim, but his brother's got like his leg and is holding on to him, he's trying to Orky, swim. Orky, let go of my leg! <laughs> no! I don't want to die! <laughs> <laughs> you guys eventually see something off to the distance, like a little, little speck of something. Pulling out the spyglass. Okay, pull out the spyglass. Uh, and you see a. How would I describe this? Hold on, let me describe this real fast. Uh, my brain is completely fried right now. You and me both. Uh, okay. Oh, perfect. Uh, you see a cube. Oh, are the Borg here? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> and it has wings, but it's a oh, cube. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. God. That's a scary version Another of the Another one of these Borg. things. <laughs> Does it have a face? Uh, roll a perception check. Do I get advantage with a uh, spyglass? Uh, for this, no. Okay. Just ask. Very far away. It's very far 17. away. 17. Okay. I uh, guess it has supple lips. It has two <laughs> eyeballs. It has a bow drawn, all right. The uh, uh, lips are just like, ah, I see. Uh, I don't have, know. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the new Necrons, guys. Uh, it has these kind of metallic feathery wings, a combination of both, and notably really long slender legs that kind of end with, like, pseudo horse hooves, if that makes sense. Um, and it is notice notably going <laughs> horizontal from your guys' position, and based on it, you guys are going down. You don't feel any motion as you're going down, but you're going down. Uh, I will look to the guys and just quickly say eyes up but it's a look in the direction before I know this is gonna suck but I'm gonna shout out to it can you hear us can you see us there's no response and it just keeps going at this point you guys are sinking lower and lower and lower farther away from it is there I any can see you cast now I can't. is there Do any I upcoming ground uh sorry what was that Shen? uh I was asking if I recognize it uh, I would say roll a religion check. Ooh. With advantage for you, because you would probably know what this is. One second, let me just... <laughs> me losing everything again. No worries. Uh, religion. Now I don't have the chat open. Uh, with That's advantage a natural for me 20. Yeah, That's a 20. natural 20. Natural 20. That is a quadrone. <laughs> they are essentially ranged fighters. Uh, ranged uh, constructs made for essentially assisting Oriara and her various other needs and necessities. Oh. Uh, you would know that they only speak Modron. They don't actually speak any lick of common in any capacity. 
I don't speak that, do I? No, I do not. No. Well, fuck. <laughs> uh, Abby, should we be worried about that thing? He just like, his eyes like kind of shift with his little flaps and he's like, I am not quite sure yet. Well, that's news at least. What's Log doing? <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. In and around. Uh, you do notice something beneath you, though. Uh, Borky, as you're kind of holding onto Greckles, you look down and you begin to see a, a much significantly larger form beginning to appear. What does it look like? Uh, again, a giant cube. <laughs> uh, it is a darkened, almost, you would say, iron-silver color. Okay. Um a bunch of panels of metal that appear to be almost perfectly welded together. Uh, and you notice there's a little hole at the top where you guys are kind of lined up. Prepare yourself for cube. Well, guys, I I don't mean to scare any of you, but there's a hole we're heading towards and a, and a cube. It's emanating a very dangerous ener energy. Uh, well everybody roll perception checks for me. Oh yeah. Boy. Oh boy. Yeah. It's probably just some god stuff. We'll probably we'll just let it happen or something. Fifteen. Uh, Cube. Sixteen. Okay. Seventeen. Uh, thirteen. Perception. perception. I'm looking. I'm blind. <laughs> little, there little. You go. There you go. Oh wow, uh, great. Yeah. Oh, wow. hey. As you guys are lowering closer and closer to this cube, this cube is huge. It's very big. Um, it's about the size of the peak of the mountain that you guys were just on, uh, oh. in terms of scale. It's very, very large. Um, notably on the outside, you see a bunch of forms, which you all see perfectly well because you all passed your checks. Uh, you see giant metal construct spiders, uh, -huh. uh that are moving up and you can see almost like the sharp, bright light as they appear to be molding and melding the metal around this giant, uh, this giant cube. Uh, Borky or Homer Simpson, Simpson screeches when he realizes that. Yeah, they, they just kind of move systematically and they appear to be patching up certain things as at this point you guys are being lowered into the opening of this cube. Uh, the moment you hit the edge of it, it just turns to complete darkness. Uh, and the top where you guys enter just sh like almost like the um, the air vents in like uh, Alien Isolation just kind of sh closes. God damn. And um, immediately, whatever pole was on you releases, and you guys all begin to slide at mock speed down this giant shaft. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, no, I'm not totally unfamiliar with this feeling. Uh, dexterity saving throws for everybody. Good. Oh, great. Uh, Here I go. I should be good. Yay, nat 20. Nice. Three. Come on, bleed over, bleed over. Uh, so fair. Greckles can double jump. <laughs> it's all in the... He's, he's on like character plus 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 in Terraria right now, man. Oh. I'll be right 16. back in one second. I can still hear you. Okay. Uh, you guys all slide down. As you slide down, Greckles, you catch Log, who's like, because he gets kind of shunted out. Uh, and you guys all land in a large room with a singular clock inside. Um, the room is completely metal. Um, brushed silver and gold, um, beautiful in nature. The hole behind you guys close as you guys kind of stand up. It's a rough ride. Dreckles, you're fine. You land on your feet. Um, Abby, you kind of crash to the ground, but you're fine. It doesn't hurt you. Uh, Why is and illuminating this place? Weirdly enough, there's no light source, yet this place is has light in it. It's very strange. Mm -hmm. Um, just like the Unreal Engine. I sort of the Matrix, ergo. <laughs> mm. uh, all right, well, no time like the present. I'm going to go investigate that clock. Okay. Uh, there, is a, there is a plaque in front of the clock. And it reads? Does anybody read Celestial? Hell. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. No. We're we're all dumb, Monty. We don't we, we can't. Yeah, speak yeah, yeah. Android. We we don't we don't have we don't speak uh we don't speak yeah we don't speak G whiz. We don't, 
Gleek. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna double check to see because Connor just stepped up just to see if he knows Celestial. Ah. Uh, I think he knows Abyssal? He knows... Common oh. and Infernal. So, mm -hmm. okay. So, you see a plaque in front of you, which none of you can read. Good. <laughs> and there is a clock in front of you as well. Is it actually active? Um, currently, all of the hands are all on 12. I'm gonna do something incredibly stupid. I'm okay. gonna try and move the minute hand. Okay. Clockwise. Clockwise? Okay. Uh, as you move the minute hand, all of you get older. Oh! oh. oh. No, no, don't touch that! Do I, put it back, Tess, put it back! Abby, you are unaffected by this. Ah, oh, my knees, they yeah. hurt! You guys so, how, how? Old. You didn't get old, yeah. old. But you just, you slowly began to age. You rusted. Uh, did, my, did my hair grow out or something? Yeah, your hair grows out, fingernails grow out, that sort of thing. Huh. You feel it. You feel the age affect you. Oh. Growing pains back. and all that. Put it back. Okay. okay, so what I just gathered from this is that going backwards will make us younger. Going forward will make us older. Wait, do I feel any more powerful? No. Fuck. All right, put us back, Task. <laughs> Uh, we're at 12 right now. I put it back yeah. to 12. Um, Did anything panic. happen? Panic, you feel a tug at your leg. Oh, yes, hello? You turn around and it's if. What? Physically there. And I look around and on. see if anybody else... I look around and see if anybody else can see this. <laughs> As you guys turn around, you do see a small form of if. Standing sheepishly behind Panic. Whoa. Whoa. If what are you doing here? Who is that? Um, this is my friend If. Um, normally they live inside my head, but this world seems to have brought them into a physical shape or something. Do you know anything? Else? I'll just sort of, I'll, I'll sort of pick Ith up like a baby and just hold him. <laughs> it feels like a bean bag, like a sack filled with beans, like a bean bag baby, but big. As you look. Oh my up gosh, there. you're so squishy. <laughs> form, form, forgotten realm rules. Pull, push, form, abandoned. Oh, is that why catharsis? I can't, I can't summon catharsis. As you flex your hand and try to summon it, nothing happens. <laughs> oh, that's not going to be good. Material rem, realm, material rules. Spiritual uh. realm, spiritual rules. Can you bring us up so. to speed about this, cre about this plaque? Uh, it walks up to the plaque and takes their spectral hand and kind of runs over it. Uh, just for uh, Shenpai's uh, mm -hmm. view. I'm just going to show you this character so you have a good visual on what they look like. They're I very small. Them, yeah. They're about the same size. There you go. That's about what they look like. They stand probably about at, at most three feet tall with the mask included. Okay. All right, sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Um, they walk up to the plaque and kind of run their hand and elbow across it, almost like they would wipe off dirt. And then they step back, and they're just like, they're like a child. They're just clinging to your leg, panic. They don't want to let go of you right now. Oh, hey, hey, take it easy. What's, what's going on? Was something scaring you? They just look up at you and roll an insight check. Okay. Here we go. I have this skill. <laughs> hey, 19. 19. They do seem nervous. I'll just I'll just continue to, to hold hold if like baby style in my arms. I'll just be like, it's okay. I won't let anything happen to you. How'd the plaque change? Okay. Uh it is now in common. Mm, nice. 
and it says this. And sure. whoever wants you may read it out loud. All right. To the door roamed Hivalvian? Hivalvian. Hivalvian, yeah. To the door roamed Hivalvian nine first brothers, made an image of their mother all the same. Echo the doors with their ring, a call as every brother come, call as every brother come. When the house of Gnash began, to, uh, began, have brought the wrath of her metallic resistance. So she formed the Marats. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Marats. The Marats of 34 renowned. The broke, uh, the broke the teeth. And I'm, I'm not, that's actually what it says. The it broke has, the teeth. It's written, yeah, it's how it's written. It's not great. It's translated, so. Right, 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 right. But I just want everyone else to know. <laughs> The broke the teeth and thrashed the tongue of his commanders. Though small they are, steel beans, 47 be beck and call, the last to come in line, the first to make the ring. You ring to rule them all. God damn it, I was just going to fucking say that. What? what, what? Uh, He's scratching his head right now. Who is Hevalvian? Roll Does, has anybody ever... Boy. Come on, training. Uh, uh, 16. Okay. Uh, you would know this with your studying of Livrosia, um, is that uh, Hivalvians are essentially Oriara's first celestials, like her, her main celestials, her messengers in a way. Uh, they're made in her image, um, basically reflecting her. I've I've heard that name before. Hivalvians. They're like they're like Livrosia's first celestials. I think that might have been what you know who was. No, he was not. You would know that for sure. Never mind. I don't <laughs> I didn't say it. These these Rome these were strange. like these are like holy constructs, sp sp specifically to Oriara. Well, they were constructs. They are constructs. Yeah. Uh, in fact, um. Oh, God, sorry. One second, cat. I heard her. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Goblin Choose wishes to become here. one of them. Ah. It's Goblin! <coughs> well, we, ha we have proper nouns in this anyway. Havalians, Maruts, and Seal Beans, I'm going to assume that the more we go down this list, the less in rank they are. Because mm -hmm. there's more of them. Um, let me see here. Nine... Havalians, nine first brothers, made an image of their mother all the same, echo the doors with their rings... I'm back. Sorry, she needed water. I apologize. <laughs> We're just trying to piece together this ourselves at the moment. So I'm gonna say the rings, they're Abby. not physical rings. Yes, I was about uh, to ask if, if it could makes you do any a sense to me. Could yeah. you do a religion check, please, with advantage? Because Okay, one second. Religion you are a check. worshiper of Oriara, so you would know a lot more, <laughs> hopefully. Ooh, one second. Yeah. 20. Okay. Nice. So Hivalvians Hev originally she made nine of them, mm -hmm. but she has a total of twenty-four. Mm -hmm. So she's made more. Um, Marits are basically like enforcers. Um, they are cosmic enforcers mm -hmm. that she of her design. Uh, seal beans um, essentially are the Modrons. Or at least the early Modrons before you know they were kind of what they are today. Okay. Uh, a lot of this seems like nonsense, but there's also some historical context to this as well. Especially in the fight against Ganache, that's pretty common. The cosmic fight against Ganache. Money, is there a door on this clock? Uh, no. It is just the face, and it's just a pillar. And How many handles does this thing have? Three. Ooh. Or like, like you mean like the arms? Yes. 
Yeah, there's three. So so there's hour, minute, seconds. Yeah. But unfortunately, so wait, our characters don't know that. There is... Oh. Right, because we've never seen a clock before. We, 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 wait, we, 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 seldom have se we seldom have seen a clock, so we don't know that, that stuff. I have a clock, though. I have a Yo, clock with me. Nice. Um... Does, is there, like, numbers on it? Uh, as you pull out the clock, the clock is not moving anymore. Oh, damn it. I, I paid good tobacco for this. <laughs> <laughs> and is there anything else in the room? It's just this clock. Oh. But are there are there numbers on the clock that indicate, like, like 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? There is not, unfortunately. What if... What? And you said it doesn't move anymore. <laughs> The one that that panic has isn't moving. No, oh. it's it's like clicking. Um, because I have an idea, are, but I I can't follow through with it because we don't know what a clock is. Let me let me let me try something. What what are the hands on my clock frozen on right now? Uh, whatever time it is when you guys entered this place. And what time and how late I'd was like, it when we entered? I'd say like seven thirty ish, like probably seven thirty six. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull up just like an analog clock on my computer real quick. <laughs> just so I can figure out this clock puzzle resident type go. Wait, wait, wait. Did you did you know that a door is locked by the shadow of a spider? Wait, let me let me audi tries guys. Yeah, what do you want? I want to try something. I want to move the biggest hand all the way around once. And the reason no. why... No. No. Rookie, let me finish. Rookie. No. No, we'll be finished if you do that, Rookie. I think. Rookie, let's hear him out, please. <sighs> now, let's, now, let's think about this. The entire mountain, every single hour, it's made that big, giant noise. And we know that's the pendulum. But that might be a clue to this. Look at this. There's the there's the, the 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 verb to ring, so many times in this. Though small, the seal builds forty seven beck and call last come in line. The first to make the ring. Let's see if there if if we make this ring by moving the bigger hand all the way around to form an hour. Are Anyone? wait are the are there numbers are there numbers on this clock on no, on the no. clock. The clock you have, yes. The clock that's in the middle of the room, no. That's what I was asking earlier. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. Your clock has numbers on it. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, the one, the one in front of you does not. It has like notches in it. Okay, um, so the this one, one you have has is is on uh, seven. I'm gonna say seven thirty six right now. Seven thirty six. Okay, so there's the big one is just past the seven, and so is the little one. And then the the long skinny one is just kind of there. Um, but the but, but the clock but the clock we're looking at is at what's the what's the clock we're looking at? This is, is it like twelve, 12 o'clock yeah. noon. Yeah, 12, this brings 12, 12. up an this brings up an interesting question. What do, do we have a concept of hours? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just, just, we've, we've I'm just been, making, I'm been, making sure. It's you been have, forced upon us. You have a sundial in, like, your garden, and you've seen sundials around the city. Ah. Okay, so we have... And there are, there are pocket so, watches. Big clocks are rare, but they do exist in Alabaster. They're just incredibly I'm, rare. They're meant for, like, the I'm just, rich. Right. I'm, I'm just making sure that we know what we know going into this. So, as a concept, we know that there are 24 hours in a day. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, sick. I so, think Panic can deduce from that that there are only twelve numbers on this clock. It must have to go around twice. One is for day and one is for night. I think. Okay. So, hmm. this must be a little bit past seven, and I don't know what the little hand is. Hey, Panic. And we yes. Before you think too much harder, too much more hard on this, do you uh -huh. mind if I do you mind if I give that that hand a spin? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, okay. well, to be I'm, fair, let's let's be cautious here. Cause... That's why I was saying I was gonna go real slow. All right. If we if ever if anyone starts feeling really wonky, I'll go immediately go right back. Okay. 
can I, while they're doing that, just go up to the inscription, just kind of like scan it? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh, All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna say. So you start to move. Which way do you move the first? The hour? Uh, first, it's gonna be clockwise, and it's gonna be very slow. If anyone feels any pain or anything like that, immediately stop. As it moves from twelve to one, the room booms with a kind of loud, like bell noise, and you all begin to feel older. As you move it to two, you feel older, and eventually, as you move it, I'm gonna say to four o'clock. Uh, all of you at this point are around your, like, like, for, for most of you, you guys have aged probably about five years or so. Um, as you move it even further, eventually making it to six, uh, you guys are, like, some of you are starting to get gray hairs. Uh, as uh -oh. you move it further to eight oh. and nine, uh, you guys are starting to get a little hunched. Or do, oh. we, do, we, do we feel any pain, though? There's like growing pains, but mm. beyond that, there's no like you know like you're being torn asunder. It's just like you know are, your back's getting sore and are like there that. are there different rings at every hour or is it the same consistent ring? Same consistent ring. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Don't worry. Don't worry. Panic. I'm stopping. Thank you, folks. Turn it back. Okay, stay with me. Okay. Eh? Uh, uh, no. I'm gonna turn it back. Uh, oh, my part, bro. Uh, what what'd you say? You fucking idiot! Buddy, I'm gonna turn it backwards. All right, same back thing, but was. but reverse. As you roll it back, it rings. But as you go back to the twelve, you guys are back to your normal age. This uh, used to be uh, orange groves, far as the eye can. Oh, I feel younger. <laughs> okay, oh. that was a trip. Uh, oh, the things I like are great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, how about we try and go the other way then? I promise to stop before we get too young. But this, um, this might actually, this might potentially be more dangerous because I don't know if we're going to be as smart. Did we get stupider or like senile, Monty, as we were getting older? I mean, you were, you were changing for sure. Okay. But you also have two unaging constructs next to you. Uh, Abby, you've do, been completely log. unaffected by this the entire time. Abby, Alog, do you are are you feeling any of this? Do you feel like rusted? <laughs> Abby just turns around and is like, no, but I I found something. Wait, what'd you find? You said there are three handles on that clock, yes? Right. All right. There are, there are three numbers in this inscription. That's what I was thinking. The numbers are 9, uh... 34, and 47. Abby, you know what a clock is. You've made clocks. Yep. <laughs> but there's only 12 divots in this clock. There are numbers in between the hours. Hmm. Oh, right. So given, given this inscription... Since this is supposed to like herald something that happened a long time ago, should we set the numbers going backwards? Mm, I don't know, man. And and with uh, that, which which arms go where? So, the, I'm thinking the f the first the biggest one goes on the nine. I'm going to say nine. And then the slightly smaller one. Uh, the thirty to thirty-four. Thirty-four, but what 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 counts as thirty-four? I mean, uh, Abby or Log, can you help us with that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, good. <laughs> Abby, can, can Abby, can you set it up to where we have the big hand on the nine? The middle hand on the 34, and then the smallest hand on the 47, and uh, we can't do it because we don't know what's going to happen. Um, the question is in oh, what direction? I assume. No, that maybe. Wait. So, uh, Panic, Panic is going to just just play with his own clock, and just try to move the move the arms. Okay, you do so, but they don't continue. It just stops there. Okay, which one moves faster though? They don't move at all. It's it's broken. It refuses to move in any capacity. Oh, what? 
Uh, roll a intelligence check. Okay. Smirt. Clock controls our future. Come on, Smirt. Smirt. Twenty-three. Smirt. Either by design or by something, this time is not moving in this chamber. But you are. So I can't. I can't even physically move it myself. You. You can physically move it, but it just doesn't work. Like it's like locked in one time, even if you move whatever time it is on your clock, not the not the clock in the room, the clock that you bought. It is not functioning I'm, I'm, because there is no time for it to keep track of. Okay. No, I'm I'm saying there are like cogs in it. So when I physically move one of the arms, mm -hmm. the other mar arms will start moving, correct? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I was asking. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I will notice that the larger one moves faster than the smaller one. Mm-hmm. So I'll say, I'll correct myself and say, wait a minute, maybe the slightly smaller one should go in the nine. Because it takes longer to move? I think maybe the larger arm tracks. Uh, let me, let me clarify. The larger arm moves the slowest. The medium one moves in the middle and then the smallest one is the fastest. Okay. Yeah. So then, like I had it before, I was just, uh, okay. So, Abby, do you think he can do that just because we have no idea what's going to happen to us? Of course. Okay. Object yep. 8, you walk up to the clock. Uh, which which one do you grab? Which which uh, hand do you grab on the clock to start? Uh, hmm. I first of all want to know in what, di like, <laughs> in what direction do you want to go, back or well, forward? backwards because this thing is saying like we need to it's saying it's a it's a, giving a notion of something that happened in the past so going backwards might be the key also nine is closer to 12 hmm. from the, from the backwards position so maybe we won't you know lose our minds yeah yeah <clears throat> he's gonna take the middle one first to get it into position uh, do you go? Do you go clockwise or counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. Okay. As you begin to go, they begin to become younger and younger. Uh, you guys become teenagers and eventually become like ten-year-olds as you go kind of around the clock. Do we do we retain any of our of our? Um, you like, retain your memories and your knowledge. knowledge, but you're just getting smaller and your clothes are getting way too big. Oh God, we're the oh, unexpected oh, babies. Uh, where you guys so stop, these... where, you, where you stop at um, is where you guys are about maybe like 12. You guys are 12 years old. Oh, oh my God. man, these are super awkward, I mean. Can Borky just look the same? It's <laughs> 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 tiny. No, you joke, but orcs actually mature at like 12, so yes. Oh, jeez, oh, guys. Is... Oh, oh God, God, what have you you're... done? Wait, wait, you're wait, exactly shut up. the same. Hey, shut You're up, like, shut up. Hang on, hang on, we gotta keep oh going. Oh my god, you had a lisp. <laughs> oh my god, Greg. Panic, panic, not loud, shut up. Uh, uh, Abby, please keep going. Okay. No, I don't know, guys. We have to try our best to solve this puzzle. Oh, Alright, Abby, uh, the middle hand appears to be in proper position. Uh, on the uh, 34th minute. Uh, what, is it also on the ninth hour, or? Uh, it is not on the ninth hour. They, they each, they each move, like, as an independent. They don't move. Oh, to, okay. Oh, yeah. they don't move together, okay. No, they move as independent, so. Wait, that means. Ooh. Uh, Ali. <laughs> yes? I, I have an idea. So okay. try moving, try moving the other hand the opposite the way, move it clockwards. Oh, oh, okay. He's, he's gonna that might reverse all yeah. of this. He's going to take the big one and go clockwise. Okay. Uh, as you do that, uh, the rest of the party reverts kind of back to their normal age, maybe slightly old, uh, slightly, I'm gonna say slightly, slightly older. Oh, 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 that's my common. Oh, really, oh, there we go. Okay. Fuck, okay. I forgot I have to be common for like 15 seconds. Whoa. 
Any right. further, it has so, to turn into an egg. Uh, we've learned some things. We show it grackles. This doesn't <laughs> leave this cube. And Paul. Oh. Watch his log puts a puts a hand on your leg. Greckles and goes, a tongue is a terrible burden. Sometimes I would actually agree with that log. Can be pretty useful though. You never know. <gasps> well, let's just get this if, over if, with. If who you're holding in your arms just kind of slowly turns and looks at you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did... Wait, do you come? Is that like your? You know what? That probably. I'll ask later. <laughs> what do you want me to do with the last hand? Forward oh. or back? Hmm. Uh, Let's right back. back. Yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. You know, better I'm young. I, I'm it's... just so scared to suggest anything because this is beyond my comprehension. <laughs> he yeah. Tries yeah. To, like, get, get, it, get it back. <laughs> we'll be in like the prime of our youth. It'll be amazing. Speak for yourself. Abby, you move the clock backwards, and once again, you guys begin to get younger and younger and younger and younger. Oh, uh, here we go again! Until you guys oh, are, damn like, it. are like babies. Cass uh, <laughs> uh, and Greckles like literally are like hatchlings. Oh, um, oh fuck! <laughs> and Panic and Borky become like babies. Yes, yeah, Coco, oh. Buku, ba, ba, ba. But if if the good, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> if, if at this point is carrying you, <laughs> so, uh, Borky well, just starts chewing Ron Vault, just like. Thank God, Greckles can't pocket any of us. <laughs> Get the task me while his eyes aren't fucking open, like his eyelids are sealed, and he's just like slamming his face into the floor. Pass, 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 pass the gabus, puppy. Mark the ball. Reckles goes over and All just, right. just pecks so, Borky. Yeah, Reckles, you're, you're like a like a swallow in a nest, just like ah, like open mouth, like waiting for food. Um, as you finally click the final hand into place, time begins to shift forward in this room rapidly, eventually bringing you guys back to your normal age. It's a shock. Ah, 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 I assume I noticed none of this. Ah, why am I so wet? God, my Panic fucking wretches. eyes were sealed shut. Panic wretches. <laughs> yeah, it's... Imagine if, imagine if someone just took you by the feet and just slapped you against a concrete floor really fast. That's what and, it feels like. And then suddenly I was older. Yeah. Um, as you do, there's a ringing noise. Boom. 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 It shakes the ground. It echoes around this entire area. And you watch as pieces of the floor begin to fall in place oh. in segments. Oh, what have you done? As you guys begin to get cornered, as sections of the floor begin to just fall away. I climb onto the clock. All right. Uh, Tass, you, you climb on top of the clock. Another panel just falls into the ether. I hand, I hand Greckles a rope, and I start tying it to the clock. Okay. I, I tie it to myself and everyone else. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I grab, I climb on top of the clock as I prepare for last time on roll with me. <laughs> as, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, this is the recap song. Um, as you guys, as you guys, as you guys gather around, you watch as the outer area of this room, like all the different panels begin to just fall and slowly just peel back. As you guys are on top of the clock, suddenly the clock shifts slightly and you begin to feel as... It begins to detach from the rest of the floor. Oh, oh God! No! You guys, hang on, or do you let go? Hang on. All right. For now, hang on. The yeah, clock, hang on. The clock begins to plummet. With you guys all kind of hugging each other, you guys begin to descend and fall and fall and fall and fall until finally, all of you guys need to make dexterity saving throws for me. Oh God! Ah, I'm ah, so ah. good at those. 18. Oh, 16. 10! Oh, an 18. Okay. 
Uh, here we go. Oh, 26. Nice. Yeah. It's none of you take damage. Cool. But sorry, wrong song. I apologize. The, Roll 20 fudged up my music again. So bastards. Uh, it was a nice song, fucking, too. Fucking OK, there it is. Thank God. Sorry. There we go. Uh, you guys all like ungracefully just smack, smack, smack onto the ground. Panic, you land on top of everybody else. And it slowly oh, and I... floats on top of you and kind of just sits there. Hands in my pockets to just step down the other guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Uh, I'll help everybody get back up. Yeah, you help everybody get up. Bobby, so, no, no, you just crash to the ground. A couple of, of bolts kind of roll out of you. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Family guy I'll... falls from the fucking ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll like, get down on the ground and start scooping up like the screws and stuff oh, and I'm trying like, to put them back in <laughs> oh god Abby, oh, I, we need a oh, manual boy. for this <laughs> okay I'm good <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to try to put this in here alright here we go Ow! <laughs> uh, how's the clock's condition uh, clock is, is just kind of on its side uh, notably you're on a giant horizontal ring like a flat ring like a saturn ring oh that mm. runs into the distance out of sight and as you look up you see another one and as you look down you see another one what's happening the rings Man. are layers god's realms are weird yes it's like bit. the third time we've been in one <laughs> well, as you guys turn around you currently see you you're holding up a line uh oh, a fucking what? You oh. see a you see a line of like probably a hundred Modrons currently all carrying just bits of something. Step to the side. Yeah. Uh, they begin without even thinking about it, just walking past you guys. Oh gosh. Do, does the well, line is... of Mo Modrons like go around the ring? Yeah, they're like going kind of in a in, in, in like perfectly in unison, like an assembly line. They're just moving down this ring. Abby's just gonna wave. <laughs> they don't even notice you. They don't even like acknowledge you, Abby, at all. I know. Uh, I suggest we follow them because it's the only like logical thing I can think of. We do. Same. Wait. So I'm going to I'm going to just like pat myself and make sure that we're not dead. <laughs> Mole medicine check. Okay. <laughs> that one is. Sorry, not to take Don't. away from what's happening here, but when you say rings, like like a, like a Saturn ring, and it's just a black void everywhere else, it's like yeah, it's just an endless sky expanse. You're welcome, you Connor. Me. You You're welcome, Connor. Me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the way oh. now. The combat. Hmm. That's a natural one. As you kind of like go like poking through, just making sure you're okay. One of Obby's like like nuts, like nuts and bolts, kind of lodge into your jacket, and you pull it out, and you're like, oh my god. I'm a construct now. <laughs> oh, shit. I pinched oh. panic in the leg. Ow! Did you feel that? Wait. Yes, then I did. Then you're fine. Then I'm a metal man. And I am the 500,000 so gold man. There's so many. going to take the bolt back. There's so many Futurama references. Kind of. Um. <laughs> as you guys are standing here, um, you watch as a what looks like a Modron uh, walks up. It's, it's, it's like two cubes stacked on top of each other. It's kind of got these like weird binocular eyes and it comes up with what appears to be like, like a shovel, like a snow shovel and scrapes the clock and just tosses it over the side, <laughs> clearing up the path and oh, letting my the clock. Like, the one you guys were all stacked on top of and fell down. Oh, with. okay. Okay. Yeah. So they just yeeted the clock. Yeah. They just yeeted the clock, the clock off the edge. It was in the way. They got oh. rid of it. Okay, I guess we'll follow the we'll follow the path that these Modron are taking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys follow them up a ways. Um, each ring, it's it's almost like a ribbon that kind of like is like is like a spring that curls upwards uh. and downwards. But there's enough of um, like an atmosphere to it where there's a there's a distance draw. It's almost like a fog in a way where you can't see too far up or too far down. The draw distance on this map is garbage. Also, it is huge. Like, this place is massive. Um, 
like the 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 expanse where you guys are standing is like bigger than the fields you guys were traveling through to get to the mountain in in terms of their expanse. <sighs> and that's just these coils in this area. They are absolutely massive. Is is there like gravity, regular temperature, like all the, the stuff we're used to? The temperature is like I would say I'm going to use Canadian measurements, but it's That's probably fine. about 18 degrees Celsius, so like slightly uh, below room I, temperature. I know what that is, so okay. that's all good. Um, and then in terms of like the air, the air is air. You, it tastes mm. metallic, clearly, given the you know atmosphere uh, and the environment around you. Um, what was the other question about the environment? I Gravity. Like Gravity. Normal. Okay. I'm yeah. not going to look a gift horse in the mouth when it comes to the air, Gaijin. <laughs> I look. I'm just curious. I don't want to. You know, we're in God's territory. We're in God's territory now. <laughs> um, as you guys continue up the assembly line, you guys are much faster than the assembly line. Um, every single Modron is identical uh, in nature, unresponsive to your guys's presence. Um, but certain parts of the coil begin to deviate um, into flat sections where you see. Um, Large panther-like constructs oh, good. without oh. eyes uh, currently being worked on by Modrons. How many How many knives? Uh, no knives. Okay, good. Their mouths are closed. They are way more refined and way better looking uh, compared to the thing that you dealt with inside of the cave. Um, Abby, you would know these as steel predators. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys proceed even further forward and you begin to see colossal towering constructs with giant eyeballs set in the center is it they... similar oh i'm sorry no 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 go ahead go ahead is it similar to the golem that we activated uh no this one is a lot more refined and a lot scarier looking um Good. it's actually obby you would know that this is a marit specifically okay uh, they are they are enforcers made by Oriara, usually for other gods, surprisingly. Does Wait, for, for other gods feel... to use? Yep. Wow. Does Sorry. it make me feel like safe or more like cautious? Um, I, mean... I mean they're 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 large, they're very imposing, but you know that they have a design in mind and they won't, you know, they won't attack you. They have a job okay. to do and they're not yeah. gonna hurt you because you're you're not involved. So you're like, oh that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, as you guys move up the assembly line, you see something in the assembly line which is weird. It stands out to you all. Oh. I'm gonna say everybody roll a perception check with the exception of Abby, because Abby wouldn't pick up on this. No oh. Offense. Sorry, Abby. <laughs> 16. 19. Perception. Can I do perception check? That's a 20. <laughs> Six. Yeah, go ahead. You can roll a perception just to see it, but you won't know what it is, unfortunately. I'm recovering 13. from the fact that I thought was I was a robot. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, 13 doesn't pass, but uh, Tass, Greckles, and Borky, you guys see a human walking uh -huh. the assembly line. Borky, it's a pirate. What the? What? Captain Faraku, is that you? <laughs> Borky yells. <laughs> um, the human in the assembly line stops, and you watch as a Modron walks into him, and the Modron just starts, like, bickering at him. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and he keeps moving and walking up the assembly line. <laughs> what does that sound like? It's, it's literally, it's literally sounds like, you know, when you're trying to, like, fidget with, like, a radio, and it makes the weird, like, as it goes through all the different channels, it makes, like, a weird audio sound. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> sounds like fucking Bubblebee. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess we should go after him. He's the only other human he here. Is. But uh, I think that's Captain Veratu. Wait, what? You guys, what? It's not Captain Veratu, Borky. I know, I Borky know. I know it's not Captain Veratu. Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, you guys run up the assembly line and catch up to him. He's currently carrying like a box of just like metal, undescript metal. Uh, it is a pirate. It is the pirate that was blasted away by Log on ah! the pirate ship oh during my the god. Oh my god! Oh my god! So Log Wait, hasn't you... killed anybody. You are at the beach. You watch as he turns and looks at you guys and then looks down and sees Log and goes, oh, no, no. <laughs> like, he just, like, gets oh, really you stay, nervous. You stay right there, motherfucker. 
I can't. The assembly line's still going. We will, we will blast you into double hell, where you have some questions. Uh, oh, he just keeps walking in, in like, line as you guys stand nope. next to him. Knock, knock, Orky, knock, get him. knock, 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 knock. Ah. Uh huh. It's the one who broke the law. Morky yeah. points at him. Uh huh. I sent him here to learn a lesson. Wait. So you? Didn't what? Kill what? Him? <laughs> what? I look to see if he has any shoes. <laughs> They're gone. No. Ah. This is a shoeless place. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, he steps out of the assembly line, and one of the Modrons like tries to grab him and pull him back, and he just kind of knocks the hand, and he goes, "Okay, look, what do you want?" Uh, we're new here. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean you're new where's, here? Where's this assembly line end? It doesn't. It keeps going. Then how do they assemble? He points towards the little, like, side spots where all the constructs are. Wait, 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 wait. How long have you been here? Uh, he counts on his fingers. He is older. Uh, ten years? <laughs> How have you survived with no food? I don't get hungry here. That's weird. I miss pie. I thought you said you weren't hungry. You're a liar! <laughs> I'm not hungry, I just miss food. <laughs> so this just... Okay. Go ahead. This just keeps going into eternity, into different little pocket workshops then? It's like, a, he kind of does like a circle motion with his hand. Listen, this is going to sound stupid, but we're trying to get to Oriara. The big lady. The big lady. Uh, just... All right, here's, here's, here's the deal. I will give you this, and just the best ration he got. I will give you this if you can get us to Oriara. Uh, um, mm, okay. <laughs> it's... Better question. Oh, have you learned your lesson? Man, it was not worth it. Good. Maybe we can, uh, maybe to sweeten the deal a little bit, maybe when we're on our way out, we might take you with us. Really? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I miss Absolutely. the sun and the ocean. You know, right? you, know what I, you, know, you, know, you know what we missed? A wonderful day at the beach. Hey, well, you know must... what? We we have a we have a tavern where we sell like actual booze and actual food. Maybe if we get out of here, you can come work for us for free. <laughs> <laughs> it just starts crying. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I pat him on the back. <laughs> He's got like a beard, by the way, like a beard mustache combo, like kind of castaway yeah, style. There we go. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna get you. <laughs> I don't feel this is necessary, gentlemen. Uh, um, she's up, up above. I can just follow me. And he just drops the, the, the container on the ground and starts just running up like, the, the slope. <laughs> <Tactical. laughs> he kind of looks at everyone else and he's just like, holy fuck, that was vindictive of you guys. And he turns around to the rest of the party and just gives him a wink and two double fingers. Just <laughs> Greco shrugs. Let's move on. <laughs> Uh, as you guys move up, the, the sheer immense, immensity of this place is just boggling. Um, it is, like, still Havity's realm, but, like, times three, if not mm. bigger than that. I mean, I'm going to assume less, like, tortured soul walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I'll ask. Less damned in the floor. <laughs> less um, evil gray goo. <laughs> there is, like, a, there's, like, a sky? You're not sure if it's a sky or what it is, but it's, like, it's expanse that has light to it. Um, well, and there, there are, are no clouds. There's no atmosphere. No, it's it's like a, like there's kind of like a fog to this place. Like there is a bit of a you know an atmosphere in that sense. Um, and there are just various floating cube rooms that just like you can see different constructs kind of going in and out of almost like a beehive. Um, there's just various assembly lines. There's various like areas where things are being made. There's various areas where there are just like, chains that are what 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 bigger. are being made? What is being uh, made actually? there are chains that are bigger than the biggest ships you've seen in port. Like one link is bigger than a ship at the port wow. of Alabas, and it just goes up into the sky. <clears throat> um, you see just giant diamonds, the size of like owl bears being carved perfectly into these beautiful intricate shapes. Holy shit. It's Big shiny. 
it's absurd. Like the, the sheer mass of this is absolutely absurd. And eventually as you make your way up, um, all the Modrons stop in their places and drop what they're doing and run to the edge of the assembly line, like the, this big giant coil that you guys have been walking up. Uh, okay, okay. We're, what are they doing? Abby, you, so sorry. Abby, you hear a voice in your mind. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I am late, though I believe I am right on time. H Hello, your boltiness. You have no need to respond to me here, Abby. You watch as everything around you begins to quake. The sky and the ozone in the air shifts. There's a rush of wind where you've now noticed that the air has been stagnant this entire time. There's a rush of wind. The sheer mass of the form that appears before you is unfathomable, which is why I didn't get art of it. You watch as a large female figure rises from the coil, like in, inside of the actual circumference of the coil, so massive and large it is almost as big as a continent on its own, similar oh, to still have it in size. For context, I want everyone at home to look at their hand, like the back of their hand right now, and just find like a follicle of skin, like, you know, a little patch of skin, like the tiny, tiny little patch. Here we go. Imagine a good one. as if every single patch of skin is a gear. Moving oh, in sick. order in perfect formation, completely covering this form. You see a crown, a giant, almost like large crown of years. You see a fine face of polished bronze metal, eyes of beautiful, almost soft pink hue of glass. The hands have metallic golden trim of beautiful platinum, but each gear is a immaculate, perfect shape in perfect sequential order as the god Oriara hovers before all of you. Dracos falls to his knees, cause that's scary. Uh, Portuguese points up, makes a sound. Uh. Panic's jaw just drops. Uh. You watch his log oh. runs to the edge. <laughs> Oriara, Oriara! He trips over himself and like scrambles <laughs> up. And you watch as he rummages in his clothes and goes, I drew this. It's you and me. Look, I'm you. I'm there. That's you. And look, we're holding hands. Oh. And he holds it up to her. Showing up his macaroni pictures to mom. <laughs> I made it a macaroni God. picture. You watch as she laughs. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank uh -huh. you, Log. I love it. And you watch as next to you guys, a massive monolith just begins to rise out of the ground with a wave of her hand. <laughs> and you watch as a Modron takes the picture from Log and runs over to the to this giant monolith and just tacks it to the monolith. Oh my god. <laughs> and she lowers her hand and the monolith sinks into the ground. That one's going on the on fridge. The fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Log, my child, you look good. Abby. You watch as her entire hand, which is just huge, just kind yeah. of sweeps up next to you, Abby. You feel so calm and at peace right now. Whereas the fleshy people amongst you are like, oh my god, this is like the most comfortable and calm you've been in your entire existence. I don't like this. <laughs> Hello, Oyara. Hello, Object 8. No. Abby, a name that you have found for yourself. Y yes Look at you and the things you have made. You make me so proud. Th thank you. She turns towards the rest of you. Waves his hand, task waves his hand. She uh, moved to you panic first. Oh, God. <laughs> and she leans in towards you. At this point, you watch as she's actually decreasing in size. She's still big, 
but she's forcibly changing her size to be a bit more manageable. In ah, terms. okay. Mm. You, know, able to, you guys Panic. are able to kind of understand. Yeah, Panic is sort of holding it still and just sort of turns him back and like juts his shoulder out in sort of like a protective stance. Yeah, he's hiding behind you. She comes in and her hands at this point are about the same size like height as you. And you watch as she cups you almost in her hands. Oh no. Leans in towards you, kind of pulling you towards her face. You and I are cut from the same cloth. That is the term you would use, is it not? Um, I guess my cloth is kind of stained, I suppose, if we could put it like that. Is that how you see it? Is that not what it is? Sometimes to achieve perfection, imperfection must be considered. Or do you hate what makes half of music on the material plane now? <laughs> I don't know what to think. Up until a couple of years ago, I was just the man who had horns. Think of what I'm still trying be. to figure it out. Think of what she'll be tomorrow. She lets go of you. And she shifts her attention over to you, Borky. Yeah. Borky's just like, uh, Borky's just been awestruck the entire time. She leans, in, she leans in close to you as well. <laughs> Your father and his ways are a poison to me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God! Borky's just like, Borky's like, yeah, yeah, dad sucks. But you are not that way, are you? No! I saw through Log you helped with his temple. You gave him vestments. You gave him coin. You aided in my people. And for that you have my thanks. Thanks, God! <laughs> my name is Oriara. Thanks, Oriara! I am one of many. Borky just does a shaky two thumbs up. Why do you fear me? You're very... It's just... It's... The other times where we've been in a place like this, it's... Ah! Just does, like, scary claws. Borky just does scary claws. <laughs> I know the son of Jirasil and Necrecta have harmed you. You're so nice. <laughs> I am what I must be. Nice is what only mortals can achieve. She turns her attention to you, Greckles. He is... Okay, so Monty, you know the ultra-prone on knees, head down, hands pointing forward bow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. You watch as her hand sweeps beneath you and lifts you up and almost like... Almost like kind of unfolding you in a way, not harshly, uh, but like gently with her hands, she unfolds you. She Come now, there is no need for that. Oh, oh, forgive me, Oriara. It's just, it's a little, oh, it's a lot to take in. You are the friend of the daughter of Solar. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, that, that I am. The forge fire enjoys you. Oh. Well, that's, that's good news. I appreciate that. She gently places you down. And she turns towards you, Task. Task stands at attention, arms behind his back, like military style, just looking at her. You broke my gift to you. I beg your pardon? My gift. The ones that my first worshippers made. You broke it. I've done a lot of things I'm not proud of, nor do I feel I was in the right mindset of doing so. If no. that is to be a slight against me, then so be it. 
You expect a punishment from me. I don't know what to expect anymore. This is good. Abby? Y yes? Thank you. F for what? Doing as I've told you to. Uh, of course. She Why just kind of looks I? over all of you. So, what now? What now? Hmm. What now indeed? We're here on a mission. If you, sp if you speak of the gift as the dragon, the metal construct... It's like giving a child an object that he does not know how to handle with for the first time. If it was meant to be a weapon against all the issues we have as of this current state, then I apologize, but we we are adrift. We don't know where to go from here, and time grows short in the concept of things. Time grows short. Time grows long. As you stand here, Darkus has succeeded. Darkus has failed. Constant touch. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Constants are denied. By entering this place, a deal has been struck. A deal denied. You watch as she flexes her hand. Who has Liza's mask? I do. That'd be Pat. It is ripped from your, your coat and is brought before her, and it is shaking. Oh, fuck. Oh, look at Ith. Ith is, like, hiding behind you, also shaking. Oh, so you're going to do... What was that? Sorry? And he just said, what are you going to do with that? You watch as she gently kind of waves her hand, almost embracing it. Oh, Liza Alavast. How can you keep doing this to yourself? Is this what you truly want? Hmm. Don't be afraid. You know I will not take you as you are. But your friend has been very useful. And I hesitate to relinquish them from my command. She lets go, and the mask drifts back to you, Task. I take it gently. Lise Alves did us a service in protecting us from a realm of pure chaos. And I feel that is also part of my blame. I am just not winning, am I? You may never win. <laughs> Ten years, I felt that. Ten years are irrelevant. Then I suppose, as my friend said, what now? Hmm. You watch as just a bunch of Modrons kind of just like, like chattering at her and she just kind of turns and responds in kind... And they kind of all begin to scatter and head back to the assembly line. We strike a bargain. What are the terms of this bargain? Eos will be relinquished to you. And a modicum of his power. I will assist you in fighting your greatest enemy. But you will assist me in fighting my own greatest enemy. Oh. Darkest for Ganache? You cannot strike down Ganache. Then but who are we who are we to strike down? She floats above you, Borky. At the base of this mountain where you have entered, you met an orc tribe. 
Yes, I did, ma'am. There is no ma'am. I am Oriara. Yes, Oriara. She gently nods. These orcs continue to sacrifice living things. They raise villages, burn down the natural world and the unnatural world in the name of this god, Ganash. By doing so, they strengthen him. And by doing so, he plagues my children. By holding Ganash at bay within this realm, I have severed my connection to living mortal men of flesh and bone. With that fate in mind, I was surely to die. And she slowly turns and looks at you, Abby. So I've made my own people. But now he tries to take them from me by turning them into monsters of his design. <sighs> I have seen it upon you. And she turns and looks towards you, panic. A beast sort of covered this realm. It struck you, almost taking your life. He covers up the the the, the, uh, the now scar on his back. These beings will continue to grow, and they will reach your city. So. You must do this thing for me. In exchange for helping your friend, Tarask of Iron Oath, the rest of you will set down the mountain and you will command the orcs to worship me instead. They shall turn their hellfire into forges. Their weapons will be beautiful master pieces of art and the pain and destruction they so savor will cease to be, and the things that they will create will amaze the world. I'd like to incite that. Absolutely, go ahead, incite a god. I'm definitely, I am definitely going to do that as well. Yeah. That doesn't, that, I'm sorry, but that dog don't hunt, Monsignor. That sounds fucking backwards from a god who's supposed to be about creation. 12. 11. God damn it. 16. I shall insight guard themselves with my insight. 15. That's not bad. Okay. Everybody roll religion checks. We. Me too? 11. Uh, yep. Absolutely. Okay. Seven. <laughs> Three. Natural one. Nine. <laughs> oh my. We're dumb. Yeah. Uh, what to God? Actually, technically, oh yeah, Berkey would have advantage. Technically, Ozzy would too. Oh yeah, so I have seventeen. Okay, you have a seventeen. Oriara <laughs> is is creation, um, but more in the sense of the creation of infrastructure, the creation of of art, the creation of craft. She kind of falls within Gromoth and uh, Livrosia in the creation of beautiful things. Ganache is the destruction of everything. It is unflinching. It does not choose favorites. Straight up, Ganache wants to destroy everything. That is what Ganache is and what it stands for. Okay. There's no glory in Ganache. It's not like um, the god of war. Um, oh god, I can't even remember my own gods. The one Belton worships. Mm -hmm. This is okay. this is destruction Avin. for destruction. It is it is the removal of all things. It is what happened to Louis Strog and the people he knew. Okay. It is to destroy history, it is to destroy the land, it is to destroy the material plane as you know it. That is the only goal that Ganache has, and that is the only goal that Ganache followers, followers have. Oriar, if I may. Yes. How will we convince them? There's so uh, many, and there's, there's just a few of us. Borky holds up his hand. He holds up his hand. I must think to this. Uh, when I came through that town, I made a connection with them. How that could be, right? 
It's really simple, Rackles. I must bring the Orc leader of the Blood Axis to heal. And I must... And I must serve Oriara. Porky looks up at her. You must fight to protect creation. Mm. Will Eos guide us in this? Eos is not for you. And he watches her head shifts and this, this gust of wind kind of rushes past all of you. Eos is for you. And she looks down at you, Task. You ask me for a war for a war. I've done nothing but fight that personally and physically for ten years, and... I guess it's all I know, but the only thing I ask out of all of this, when this is all done, I just want to live the life that was robbed away from me with these people, with with the new experiences I've had to to be normal again, to not be angry all the time. Can this be granted to me? That's all the reassurance I need. This thing you ask for cannot be granted. It must be given, and you must give it to yourself. But there is a great discord in your heart. And while darkness is like... a threat, to, when darkness is a threat to you, that is your true enemy. I want him gone so that no one else has to suffer that and that I can live again he with people I actually cherish and care for. He will be gone in body. But so long as you live, he will never be truly gone. And you know this. Tash just grips his fists and looks down. <sighs> I can't escape it, can I? That has yet to be determined. And that is not even for a god to know. If the gods don't even know, then I suppose it's worth the chance to take. Why would you exist at all? She begins to float upwards. Slowly. Log? Yeah? You're oh, thanks great. for the levity. You're doing great work. <laughs> you get a gold star. Everyone else gets a frowny fucking it, it, crown. It, 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 it's, it's just like it's it's just like Santa Claus in fucking Futurama. <laughs> oh, you get a paper. You get a goddamn present. There's there's so many Futurama references right now. <laughs> there's a temple, Goldberg. and I have a priest, and there's a bunch of people there, and they all have names, and it used to be numbers, but they all had names, and about it, it just keeps rattling on, and she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> she's taking it in. Like, she's not ignoring him, and she's not, like, pretending to listen. She's actually listening and nodding as he's, he's relaying everything. Task will just hold his hand up and look towards Oriara. Very well. A war for a war. If it will lead to something for the better. Your might is known. This will not be one war for another. You, and will, fight and you will fight and stop what is happening at the base of the mountain. You will allow my creations to exist as they should. And I will bestow upon you a gift. That's value at this time is much less than it will be in the future. I'll take a win. After all the loss, a win is nice. Abby. Abby. 
Y yes, my Sorry, child. I was muted. <laughs> hmm. y yes? I have a job for you as well. Okay. I wish for you to stay with these people for some time. Not a long time. Avi kind of looks down. I will do it for you, Oriara. Please, Avi. I ask that you do this for yourself as well. What is there for me to learn? Much about the world beyond this mountain. Okay. I believe it is time that the kobolds of the Silver Peaks no longer hermit themselves away. No good comes from that. It was when they were denying the book to others, I knew it was time for change. And though the children from that book, and she turns towards Log, who's just like, like just dancing around at this point, like having kind of a good life. <laughs> they are not perfect. They are exactly what my people should be. Imperfect imperfection. As all living things are. This That's I have right. learned from mortals. This I have lost to Ganache. It's better to be a diamond with a flaw than a perfect stone. Exactly. Thank you, brother. And she kind of nods ahead towards you. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Just sort of narrows his eyes. Brother. Trask, Trask of Iron Oath. Yep. She lays out her hand in front of you. Step onto my hand, but no. Once you do, there is no going back. <sighs> Tass just looks back at everyone else. Greckles nods. Whatever you do, Tass, we're behind you. To the future, then. Task puts his arms behind his back and gets on board. She turns to the rest of you. I will be back in no time at all. And she vanishes with Task. What ah! a pun. <sighs> I guess we wait. I got some cards if you guys want to play. Son of a I bitches. <laughs> I'd love that. The pirate just kind of like sidles up. He's like totally normal. Like he's just like <laughs> has nothing for him. Hey, get get in on this. We're we're playing for. Uh, we'll we'll throw some we'll throw some silver down or something. Put your freedom uh, in. If, <laughs> if, here you go. You've got the great poker face. You watch. You hand it the card, and it just kind of looks at you like. What do you not know how to play poker? <laughs> Task. Hello. You reappear on a flat steel surface, an endless expanse of silver that runs past the horizon. And Oriara lets you down off of her hand onto the ground. I stare off to it in the distance, jump down, and then turn back towards her. You know, I am envious of you. Tass cracks a smile at that. Oh, really? You can change. You don't have to be just one thing. You could be many hundreds of things. In any minute. In any hour. In any year. Are you not capable of experiencing change, even though you are a deity? No. I have heard your frustrations, your demands for answers, and it is a painful truth I must bestow upon you. Though the gods can be kind and malevolent, we are, in the end, forces that must exist. If we deviate, then the world and you pay the ultimate price. 
Concept given form, and if you shift, that form warps everything. Or it is gone forever. Almost like liver, almost like music. I ask not for your forgiveness, but I hope to enlighten your understanding. I'm aware the truth is pain. Tass looks at his arm, like, pulls up his sleeve and looks at his arm. I've endured enough. If there is a calm after this pain, then I suppose it's worth going through it. He watches. If she could smile, she would. But you feel the air around you almost lightened. And that is why some mortals are greater than any of us will ever be. And she vanishes. And that's where we're going to take a break. Oh, cool. oh, oh boy. Oh, damn. Hot damn. All right, I'm going to get me some tea. Like me too. Mm. Speaking of tea, there was a lot spilt this session. <laughs> How you doing, chat? <laughs> I see everyone's like, oh my god! <laughs> Also, I'm surprised the Praise Ariara chat isn't going absolutely wild in the Discord right now. I've seen some Praise Ariaras, but a, a surprising lack of Praise Ariaras. Hell yeah, 5 a.m. cereal time. <sighs> Got it. Hell yeah, I'm jealous. I don't have milk. I realized my milk went bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I was gonna have cereal before uh, before the stream, and I was like, oh, I have to go grocery shopping. Same. I do as well because I'm cooking for my parents tomorrow. I still have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I've never cooked. I uh, the living in the dorms kind of like trained me to cook the hardest thing about when you live by yourself cooking is just making meals that are just for one person that is the greatest challenge yeah so if you can eat leftovers though and you can do batch cooking that is like the best thing to do like i've done like big batches of curry and like lasagna and stuff like that lasagna sounds good i should probably think about doing that Lasagna is like hard, but it's worth it if you can do it right. Like I did lasagna and I, I overcooked part of it. But the problem was the meat I was using, I was, I mean, people are going to be like, what? But like, um, instead of beef, I use moose because it's a very lean beef, mm -hmm. um, which means it cooks really fast, unfortunately, which means I overcooked the beef and it dried out, but lasagna is still okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had I'm moose. here. How does moose taste? I must know. It tastes like really super, super lean beef. That's all I can really describe it as. It can be really gamey, though. Uh. Um, and, like, one moose can feed, like, a family of, like, four. It's wild. Like, my dad, my dad <clears throat> get moose in groups, like, like four or five, four Ooh. families at a time, and then you get a bunch of ground meat. The 
Messaged me, my friend Fan for her. She's her her family is very Italian, and she just messaged me out of the blue and said, "I'll teach you how to make a traditional Italian lasagna one day." <laughs> Bag mm. Fan Fan for, I'll take you up on that. If we can make a giant batch of lasagna, that'd be great. Because my last lasagna was okay; it wasn't super. <laughs> great. Need more storage containers. People in the Discord are like, "Praise Oriara," and mm. also panic. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are kindred spirits. That's that's. I hope that was coming across at least. Yeah, it just it just felt weird. Panic's thought thought process is like you call me brother, but we're so fucking different. Brother, it's been too long. Panic is like you're not wrong, but my soul is saying that you're objectively incorrect. <laughs> Yeah. We will take Metal Gear into the 21st century. It's not over yet, Snake. <laughs> oh, that fucking franchise. They're not so different from our father. Is that the one where the line's like, we were cursed with, we have cursed genes. We have cursed genes. <laughs> That's that's a series I was thinking of doing next after. Oh Dominic God! Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but absolutely. I but I don't know if I want to do that. If you, if, if you thought Devil May Cry had weird cutscenes, because <laughs> <laughs> like I we had the original game for like the, I mean the original game like for PlayStation One like the popular one. Um, I'm back. But, hello. I need back. a PS3 and a PS4 though. Oh god, forget it. I don't have the money for that. Oh no, no, you 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 don't need a PS4 actually. I forgot that it was on PC. Yeah, it's on PC. Oh, good. Then maybe there's a chance. MG3 is on PS uh, is on P P PC. Kirk, yeah. Kirk, do you want to read bits? I would be more than happy to read off some bits here because we have a fair amount here. I would like to thank oh, many many subs we have here. A script daddy gifting subs to all of us, by the way. <laughs> oh nice. Jeez. Uh, uh missed lunar lunar bane. I make things up. Mad Tomk. Fusik gifting a sub to as Akuzik. I just, I, okay. Dr. Nero. <laughs> these names. Fusik giving one to Hexbox. Hexbax. Hexbax. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying to hold down a, a burp real quick here. Um, you have food upstairs? <laughs> yes, Denny, we have food upstairs. What do you have? <laughs> Go and check, Monty. Oh, there's lots of there's a lot of chips. Okay, I'm I'm gonna come up and grab like a handful, and I'm gonna run back down. <laughs> Keep bringing up bits. There you go. No, I want I kind of want to just go upstairs right now and jump her at the door because I think that'd be funny. <laughs> or beating the shit out of her. <laughs> no, no, that, oh, that that would oh, be funny. Hell. Just like a spook, a good spook. But dad, my dad's trying to get some sleep. I didn't warn her about that, so yeah, have fun. Biako 071, a lack of dragon double O Slayer. Thank you so much for the subs. Uh, a lot of bits here. Uh, McCleary 9615 with the 500 bits. Praise Oriara. My sweet dragon hoodie came yesterday just in time for summer weather. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, no. Black, thank you so much for buying that, though. Blackfoot Ferret with Elite. That's the power to change. It's a godlike power all of us have, whether we know it or not. That's really nice. I like that, Blackfoot Ferret. Thank you for the Elite bits. It's really, oh, no, but it's well on my face. There we go. Mutron 9 with a 1500 bits. Praise Oriara. I love my goddess, Monty. Mutron 9. With 1500 bits. <laughs> Mm, let it make a lot of thank you for the bits. Irrelevant 29. Oh, that name is <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> what a good name. Mm, 1,000 bits. In before lies is the god of hope. As the party's successes grow, so does the hope. Hey, that's not irrelevant at all. That's relevant. Damn it. 1,000 bits. Two. Thank you. Mad Tom, thank you for the bits. Nightshade 626 with the 1,000 bits. Praise be to Monty for her enrapturing storytelling prowess and cheers to the players for being able to make such compelling and fun characters. Nightshade 626, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Let Jake with the 1,000 bits for your consideration for the title. Deus Bolt? Mm. He's gesturing, looking to the side, going, eh? 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 
Shady 24 with a 500, but the Jake thing with a thousand bits. Sorry. Shady 24 with a 500 <clears throat> bits. Low and slow for your moose, Monty. Also, spices are your friend when it comes to game meat. It's true. A lot of game meat tastes like shit. Mm. I don't know why. Every time I have moose outside of my dad's freezer, it tastes like Garbo. Would you count Gator as game meat? Oh, absolutely. It's a slow game and it's a flat game. <laughs> because, to be honest here, when it comes to gators, it's all about flat fuck Friday, man. Have Yo. you ever seen an image of that one gator that's just f flat as fuck? <laughs> just, just, it looks like silly putty left out in the sun too long. It's, it's just a meat pizza. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It really is. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Travis and Carrie with the pits. Thank you very much. Infinity Judge with the 2,000 bits. So just the description of Oriara made me feel like a small, confused animal, both fetal and humbled beyond comprehension. Haven't felt like that since Black Hole scene in Interstellar. Ooh, that's a hell of a compliment. Oh, oh, oh. Now that scene's fucking, uh, ah, fucking Interstellar. That's just a movie, let me tell you. What a, uh, what a, what a weird ass movie. I just can we just point out that they have robots that like, okay, downgrade SAS to level three. Okay. And I'm like, <laughs> man, man, if only. Infinity Judge, I max that thing to ten. I want that thing to bully me while I'm trying to save the world. Infinity Judge, 2,000 bits. Thank you so freaking much. Uh, Sanders, thank you for the bits. Nettle Norseman, thank you for the 500 bits. How does Oriara rate straightforward good times performance so far? <laughs> good question. That you we asked. should have asked. Those are the questions we should have asked. Dragon God, 20 with the 500 bits. I, oh, I want to hear the conversion over poker after that brother comment. You have the 500 bits. Vinto Sanji 900 with the bits. Thank you. Solus, thank you with the 500. Solus 721 with the 500 bits. Hey, take my bets. Glad to catch this one live for once. Thank you for all your work. It has literally changed my life. Take care and much love. Well, Solus 721, thank you for the 500 bits. And we're glad we can be a positive force in your life. Bella X Bella X3, thank you for the bits. Bella Bella's Belzac with another thousand bits. Good morning, guys. Driving to work and listening. Good luck, Task. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Heavy laugh. Are we all and back? The almost done. Uh, the Emperor Penguin kind with the 500 bits. I can't believe Oriara posted Logs Art on the fridge. <laughs> uh, uh, salute, headshot, salute, 500 bits. No message, just party bits. Well, thank you so much. Retro Royal Knight with a thousand bits. Praise Oriara on my birthday is today, too. So this episode is a good present. Well, Retro Royal Knight, thank you for the thousand bits. And happy birthday to you. Everyone in the chat, give him a happy birthday. Happy uh, we'll, we'll end off with a with a really big drop. We got Bernard Vaughn, thank you for the bits. Savanders, thank you for the bits. Demon Chicken of Doom, thank you for the bits. Jolly Swagman with a 500 bits. So panic when the gods betray you and you have to kill your family. Are we going to see you, Kratos? <laughs> no, he's going to be gray once the ashes on him, though. Boy, <laughs> if the gods of Olympus would deny me my family, then the gods of Olympus will die. That's hey, you know what? He wasn't wrong. Name a lie Kratos has said. I will protect you, wife and daughter. Dad, he did not say that. We never heard him say that dialogue. He probably said, see you later, and that was technically not a lie. Uh, I know. Here's, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. He, he did say, I will continue to serve. He said that after the game. Hey, no, he, served, he gave. served them some awesome beatdowns. Not a lie. Not a lie. Yeah, Abby on right. with a thousand bits. My birthday's tomorrow. I get depressed around this time. Thank you for being a light for me. Thank you, Abby on fan. We're almost done. Almost done, Nadine. Don't worry. Crow the Immortal, thank you for the bits. Direct Codius with a 1500 bits. Thanks again for our concern regarding my last bit drop. I should actually be heading back to a different state for the deployment here in roughly one more month, being trying to take advantage of this time to find out my own DD game while listening to the VODs of your adventure. And with the, uh, uh, what with the time difference, keep up the amazing work, all of you. Thank you, Draconis. Best of luck to you. Uh, Gene, you're going to do Savanders, Bernard Vaughn, thank you for the bits again. And improved furball with the 10,000 bits. I just Ooh. got promoted. So here's some extra bits. You know what, oh, guys? Damn. Round of applause for improved furball getting promoted. And thank you so much for the 10, 10, 10, thousand, thousand, thousand beers. Thank you. Is Shenpai here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to ask lots of questions right now, Nadine. So uh, what do you think of the campaign? So, I'm just joking. Ah! Uh, all right, everyone's back. Yeah. It's tasty. <laughs> yeah, let's go. T mm, tasty, tasty, tasty D&D. &D. All right. So... Uh, the rest of you guys play poker, so if anybody wants to play play poker, can roll for it. <laughs> we who I'm proficient in this. I'm just gonna uh, stand there like a log statue. is in. Log is in. Log is in. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, now I have an amazing poker face because of my uh, uh, my hard. huge. All right, let's see. Hang on. I believe what, it's what, what 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 it's it's charisma based. Okay, so I'll just roll charisma then. I'm gonna try my best not to eat into the microphone, but I'm probably at the. Come really on, do. Lady Luck. God damn it. Twenty four. <laughs> Uh, you slap down the hand, Panic, and you've won, and you watch as Log slaps down his hand and goes, Goldfish! <laughs> well, Go we'll fish! have to teach you... Uh, oh, God. Uh, may I maybe, know how to play. Maybe we should try and teach him Old Maid. It'd be a lot easier. Hmm. Borky puts down a reverse Uno card. <laughs> Borky flips, no, you. Bor Borky flips a card. It's just a tra it's just trap hole from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, it looks like your monster <laughs> sent to the graveyard immediately. God. You guys spend what feels like a couple hours actually. Um, Lord, just hanging out. Uh, but eventually Oriara reappears. Uh, and she shrinks down to about the same height as you, Borky. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What are you doing again? Yes, this this it's called Yu-Gi-Oh. No. Um <laughs> <laughs> We're playing um I'll be honest, I don't know what game we're playing. It's 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 Borky <laughs> it's Borky. It's poker. No, Borky. I'm Borky. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a game that Talentura has made. I see. Is Talentura good at it? <laughs> I do not know. I've never seen them. But I've heard of them. Have you ever played? No. I have not. But I cannot. You understand, yes? Yeah. So, about your mission. And the world as it is. Hmm. I can't help but notice a sense of unease amongst you. That comes with mortality, unfortunately. Do you think me a wicked god? No, absolutely not. No, oh, we've met a wicked god before. And you not her. You not him. It, them. <laughs> or are you? Sure. Or I'm are not you sure what I trust? Say that again, Connor. You cut out. Yeah, I'm not sure what I. Tr you must know point? me. I I follow no gods, not directly anyway. I don't trust that kind of power. Has it hurt you? I've seen it hurt other people. She just thinks for a while. <clears throat> it would seem folly to think you a wicked god, Oriara. I mean, you're one who brings creation and, and order. I don't understand how that could be so wicked. It's a it's an existence of being. I cannot feel you anymore. None of you. I could once. Sometimes I do. But it is faint, like a memory. There are actually many living, breathing mortals in Alavas that worship you. I've seen them. Greckles will actually, Greckles will actually hold out the necklace that he got from them. She takes the necklace from you? Mm-hmm. Such a beautiful, wonderful thing. Look. For it is the gemstone that is my father and the chain that is my mother. And combined it is me. And combined it is you. I 
I hope one day to grow in the grandeur of my parents and hear all the voices once again. Log is doing well. Yep! Bobby, so are you. Y yes. My other children, how do they fare? Um... There's one called Straightforward Good Time that seems to be doing pretty great. What a good name for this very long. It must be very important. There are a few that I know. Um, there's Big Guy. He works on horseshoes and other very simple but very necessary things. I have I've heard seen him. I have heard yeah. him. This yeah. Big Guy. There is yeah. one he has lost recently. Uh, Another yeah. reason for me to want to assist your friend Tarask. And there's, yes, Panic, there is Steve. Even though we've had our differences, I guess it's not fair to hold a grudge. Steve is more like my mother. Big Guy is more like my father. You feel this wind kind of again. Like, there's no wind, but it's like this feeling that kind of rushes around you, this feeling of happiness. See how they become their own. See how they have thoughts and dreams and aspirations. What a beautiful thing is life. Wait. Uh, you, you is, is like your mother and father, but not, 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 not to be disrespectful, Oriara, uh, didn't you exist before them? No. Okay, above game, holy shit. Okay. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, above game, I'm like, what? <laughs> or, 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 I, I did have another question. Of we, course. we've heard so much of the one called Mike Crank, but know so little really about him. Mike Crank was. They left me. In the sense that they cared not for my voice any longer. And that is the pain of having children the way I have. Vetrion took him from me. But I cannot lament that. For some change their ways at a moment's notice. In your world, there is no such thing as a permanent state of self. You're moving constantly, changing. You say that, but we have a we have a bartender called Helga that could never be moved. I don't think. <laughs> How fascinating! You know, there was also that time since we're reminiscing that that time that log actually saved us from Florida Mort. I attacked a tree. Oh, it was more than one tree. In fact, I worry that it's going to become a much larger problem for our realm. Well, we gave it to the druids. We let them know where it is. I mean, but one of them is Moidos, and I don't know about Moidos. They're a bit old, I think. I we also took back in Alavas underwater. <laughs> <laughs> I I also don't know if they're going to be able to do anything about it. He seems to be able to understand and see everything except. For people like them. Points over to Log and Obby. And they know that. We've told them. Uh, I don't know. My children are not inclined to violence. I fear it for them. Well, you say that the God of creation. And, um, there's one of yours, one of your followers in the city called Nine, and they make clothing for everybody, tieflings and dwarves and, um, for he's looking at Greco's, uh, uh, pretty much everyone. Yeah. This is good. Hmm. There is truth to what you say. What better way to exist than connect to your fellow mortals? Oh, goodness. That also reminds me. 
We owe a, a very big thanks to Sigsaw for saving us. Oh, your friend, Lork. Yep! How's he doing? Oh, he's busy at the moment. <laughs> E1M1 is playing in the background. <laughs> I, I, I just... I, I just... I just wonder what a, a thing made of chainsaws could be busy with. <laughs> Cursed treants in the Tatalon jungles, to my knowledge. Ah! Oh. Above game, whoa! That's, Hell yeah. Sounds, oh, I wish I could see that. Right. <laughs> That's metal as fuck. Maybe in the is. jungle fighting trees. <laughs> oh my god. Make no mistake. Yidia and I are kindred spirits. We respect each other. We can only hope our followers remain the same. Task could be there. <laughs> um. I you guys are walking still at this point. Like, it's, okay. it takes forever to walk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's not. She's floating. She doesn't need to walk. <laughs> She controls the, this realm. I would imagine not. <laughs> uh, is 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 conversation still available, or do we need to? Oh move yeah, on? she's okay. loving it. Like, um, I hesitate to ask, but Oriar, how well do you know Orin? I know them. I know of them. We don't speak, as they cannot. Do you know if they're well? They are not. And they have, and they have not been for a very long time. Doing no small part, I think, to the United Clergy. Yeah. But the sun at least still rises. I have a fear deep within myself. She stops in place. Oh. Though my connection to the material plane is limited, my knowledge of such things are not. Someone's breathing into their microphone. She kind of looks off to the side of the Modrods who are all kind of working in order. There is something I see ahead. It is like a darkness, but it is not knocked. It is all consuming. It could have a cataclysmic effect on us, and yet I do not know what it is. Maybe it's the origin of that black goo. Perhaps. But this is why I must relinqu relinquish Eos to you. It is mm. outside of my control. Are there others like him? Like Orin? Uh, no, more like, uh, more like Eos. There are. And if. And if. Mm -hmm. I just hold him up like Simba. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like bottom heavy. Oh God. <laughs> Chonky. There are millions scattered. In worlds unfathomable to their own, as your own. Some have been swallowed, some have been lost. Even I've collected a few. What are they exactly? Fragments of a dead god. Imbued with powers, needing reclaim.
know that who they once were is gone forever. Not even the gods remember. And what force they commanded no longer exists in this multiverse. A force completely removed from the world. A force never to be known again. Are you sure about that? I am certain. There was talk, there is talk, of some possible grand plan that Solar, possibly Orin's putting together, and Soliandra seems to be the catalyst. Do, do you know of anything about this? This is not my will, so I do not. That's fair. Then you know nothing of... The God Pool? I do not. It lies within a realm that I cannot see. Perhaps something you do remember, then. She tilts her head to you. You consider me a brother. A relative of sorts. This is a human comparison. I've realized in speaking with you, the more human I try to be, the more, well, the less human I am. So I will cease this for now. But in a way, we are. Being we have a mutual relationship to the One Body Choir. Do you remember his name? His true name? My mother sealed it away, along with her pain. I am sorry. It is gone. He sort of sneers. But he is who he is now. And if, I must thank you for keeping him alive for as long as you have. I'll look down at if. What, what, what's, what are they thinking? They're less scared now, um, but they're still cautious. They're still like... Mm. What's Abby up to? Just following. <laughs> you eventually reach the end of the assembly line where you guys had been dumped. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish to take this one with you? And she points to the pirate who's been following this entire time. Oh, yeah. He's learned his lesson, right, buddy? Yeah. Y yeah, totally. I did not realize you were learning while you were here. Mm -hmm. He's learned a lot of things, like the value of free labor. Labor. Oh, no. Yup. I do not understand this, but... That's all right. He does belong in the material plane. Log? Yeah? Please do not send me gifts like this again. <laughs> okay. To be I fair, heard, he was trying to kill us earlier, so... I heard gifts, I, I, and I'm sorry. It just made me laugh really hard. Gifts. Gifts. <laughs> when you meet with Task again, they will Wait. be a different person. Shit, right, he's not with you. Mm -mm. Where is he? 
Don't worry. You'll see him again. In is time. He go yeah. Is he going to be hurt? Maybe. Oh. But not in ways that you think of. It was a pleasure to meet those with the voices of the material plane and my most beautiful children made by the hands of men. You know the task you must do. And if you must fight for the right of creation, then fight. Farewell, mortals, in hopes that we meet again. And all of you guys, the vision goes white. Don't be a stranger! Task. I'm going to ask for everybody but Task to mute their microphones. All right. Hold up. One second. One sip of tea. All right, hit me. Okay. A silver expanse. Completely silent. I know it's fucking fruitless, but Tass pulls out the spyglass to just look around. Okay, you pull it out of your pocket and you, you extend it and you look around. Go ahead and roll a perception check with advantage. <laughs> Ten. There's nothing. Nah, balls. Well, uh, I turn around from once fr from whence I saw where Oriara was, and I guess walk forward. Okay. Your nails clack against the surprisingly warm floor. There's no weld lines. It is just a solid length of silver that runs endlessly. The sky is that same am amber kind of hue that rises up from the cusp of the horizon. And you walk for what feels like days. Has hunger not set in? You don't get hungry here. You don't even get tired here. Oh, that's alarming. Well, beneficial, but alarming. You walk and you walk and you walk until eventually you hear a sound. Turn? To it? Does it sound like a clock? Yep. Ahead of you. All right, cool. Well, head towards it. You see a clock. And then another clock. And then another clock. And then the entire horizon, almost like lines and rows of orchard trees, are tall grandfather clocks. Okay. Uh, are the arms different they on the face of the clocks? Some of them are moving backwards. Some of them are oh. moving forward. Some of them are fast. Some of them are slow. No two are the same. Hmm. Uh, can I, what would I roll to see if there's like anything, any one of these clocks that resonates with me in a special way? Uh, you know what? For funsies, insight check. Sure. Ah, oh, ball six. Not really. They're all identical, and they're all kind of running randomly. Okay. Uh, I will move through the clock force then. Okay. They rise and they fall in different heights, different speeds. Some are broken, as if someone has come by and snapped them in two. The pieces lying dead and unmoving next to them. Ooh, uh, I'd like to uh, investigate the breaking points of the clocks. Okay, uh, roll an investigation check. Come on, four. Makes sense. You've seen Abby, you've seen what the kobolds make. This is so sophisticated and so beyond your understanding that it looks like just a pile of like little tiny metal pieces. Well, hmm? No, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no. I was just going to have a task be like, well, no use worrying about something I don't understand. And I just move forward. Okay. 
As you continue down, you see more broken clocks amongst the working ones. You see one dripping water out of the face. You see one okay. covered in moss. Mm, okay, that's weird. Uh, do these clocks look like they have, like, age or rust to them, like time has passed? Some of them do. Uh, some of them look brand new. Some look untouched. Their shape and form don't look like they were made by human hands. Uh, they like, look like they like just nothing. molded from the earth? It, they were, like, summoned from the earth, yeah. Like, they grew here, but they're clocks, if that makes sense. Am I entering a zone where there's more dead clocks than there are working ones? It's random. As you walk through, it, it, sometimes you don't see a broken clock, and then there's, like, five. It kind of comes and goes. But the sheer amount of different clocks here is starting to get a little bit staggering and disorientating, and the noise is relentless. Okay, well, if I'm starting to feel exhaustion, I'm going to find a pocket of dead zone clocks so I can at least, like, collect my thoughts and take a break. There is not. They are endless. Okay, then I have another idea. I'm going to climb up on the top of a clock, like one I can at least climb up and get a better vantage point, and pull out my spyglass. Okay, as you walk up and you kind of grab onto the clock, you hear a voice ring out. I, 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 I would not do that if I were you. Okay, let go and look around. Well, at least it's better to hear a voice than a clock right now. Where are you? For, 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 forgive me for my rudeness, but I don't think you're supposed to be here. Well, you have Oriara to thank for that. Or, 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 Oriara sent you. That can't be right. Well, today's full of surprises now, isn't it? You watch as forming on the clock in front of you is this form. Oh, nice. Aos, I presume. How, 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 how do you know my name? Their head tilts. For the description, you see a being quite similar to Ith, an ethereal body with a long tail that curls around this grandfather clock. Their porcelain face has two sets of down-facing horns, with a long, slender, almost snout-like protrusion heading down the face. Two slitted eyes kind of run down with perfect symmetry on either side. They sit with their arms lax in their lap, kind of hunching forward to look, get a better look at you. You don't know who I am, then? I, 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 I can't recall. Tass, like, rubs his chin, like, looks down. She must have sent me back into the past, or at least in some place where you haven't met me yet. Prep, 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 probable. Well, I am Tarask of Iron Oath. I suppose in a realm far different from this, if the material exists and you have knowledge of it, that's where we make a connection in the future. They gently kind of hop off the, the clock and land on the ground and stand right in front of you. They're about the same height as you, um, slightly taller. Mm. They walk up to you and they get rather close. And they kind of step behind you and step around you, and just kind of look at you. I, 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 I've seen you. The, 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 though I don't know your name, he, 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 he's talked to you before many times, hasn't he? You, 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 you know he's a fool, right? They begin to walk forward. Task follows. You're getting a little ahead of yourself here. I only just arrived. A a a am I ahead or are you behind? By the way, my by the way things go for me, I'm most likely behind. I I I I am talking about Lies Alavast. Task pulls out the mask. He 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 he's a fool, you know. A fool that has a affinity for mortals like me. A, 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 a broken memory. We, 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 we can't go back. 
we we can't be what we used to be. This, 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 this is our fate. And he extends his hands to the various clocks. You speak of what you once were's demise. I know of this. We, 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 we did not die. Mortals die. We were destroyed. But you have become something new, something separate. Only because I've, sorry. Oh, yep. oh, oh, only because I've held on to what made me part of me. And, and, and was permitted to hold on to this power thanks to Oriara. She, 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 she welcomes us into this realm. And, 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 and it's the only place that is safe for us. Put, 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 put places beyond the material plane. That sounds... F oh, sorry. Havens, respites, and resting spots. Tash just, like, chuckles to himself. Oh, geez, I can understand why there's some sort of connection between us. Your story sounds far too similar to mine. They turn and look at you. A creature of seclusion, given sanctuary somewhere else. And the one thing that holds you to the very form that you are is the same thing that keeps me going for all the years I have existed. Persistence. All the clocks immediately all turn up to 12 o'clock, like <laughs> all at once. Okay, I must have said the magic word. You, 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 you've caught my attention. Well, nice and, to know you're paying attention to me now. And, and, and I think I know why you're here. The, 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 the past runs through you. And you watch as they step up to you and they cup your face. When they touch you, you don't feel anything. It's like they're not even there. Okay, they stare directly at you. Light, 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 lies Alavas imparted a lesson onto you. <laughs> you, you, you. You traveled to the mirror and it was broken. Yes. Shattered into billions of fragments next to a dead gold dragon. Hmm. They step over and keep walking and thinking. And they sigh. A low, low sigh as all the clocks begin to go back into their random occurrences. Is there no way to fix it now that we're in the past? Well, I am anyway. Although, a better question would be to ask, what is its proper significance? It, 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 it is an eye beyond our understanding. It is a constant that must be explored. A gateway into other places, then. A, 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 a gateway beyond your memory. A, 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 a gateway to a constant not yet determined. Wow. I, 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 I see now. You, 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 you said you met me before. Or, 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 or perhaps have heard my voice. More of your voice in my mind, yes. That, that, then it's time. My, 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 my power is relinquished. I, 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 I will lose everything. You, 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 you are a catalyst for my destruction. And, 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 and is it inevitable that we meet? Am I really just to break other people? That 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 is not for me to decide. But 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 I believe I am the key to those who can truly help you. No 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 that when this is done I will not be who I once was. But I, 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 I will lose everything and, 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 and will gain so much more. They walk up to you. 
Don't worry. Loss is quite common. I know that for a fact, but in the end, you gain more. And looking towards that will make it all better. Then, then, then let us explore a constant where, where, where you've already broken the rules and they extend a hand to you. Well, I am good at breaking things. I, I shake his hand. You're immediately teleported from this realm <laughs> to the peak of the mountain of repetition. Okay, shift and cold. They stand atop the mountain, really unthinking and looking around. Robald is there. We're back on the mountain of repetition then. Y y y yes. I look towards Robald. Is it moving? They're stationary. Okay. A question to help me a little understand things better. Robold, I know you are an existing creature. Do you know who I am? They shift and they move and they step up towards you. I do not know who you are or how you've made your way up here. I'm in the past. We, 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 we are in a constant that has already been determined. In terms of me, then... Where does my constant lie? But, but behind my footsteps. Very well. What must we do now? You watch as their physical form drops and the mask <laughs> lands in front of you. Whoa, I go to catch it. Yeah, you grab it. And you set it upon your face, I'm assuming? Uh, Tass kind of just, like, looks at it, shrugs, and does so. You hear the voice in your mind now. You, you, you must do exactly as I say. Ah, this feels familiar. This, this, this is an exercise in faith. I got nothing left to lose at this moment, so what do you have? You, you, you cannot settle with what I must deal with. You, 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 you must see me as an ally and a partner in all of this. Or, 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 or else our time together will come to a close far sooner than you can imagine. I, 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 I am not like if your companion carries. They are remaining in very small sizes. I, I, I have, by leaving my realm, sacrificed a great amount of power to help you. You, 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 you do not need to respect me, but you must understand the sacrifices I have made to make your world better. You, you, you must impart upon me an equal amount of trust. I, 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 I am not little, and I will not remain little. Task stops for a moment. Uh, is speaking loudly how I'm communicating to Aos or through my mind? You're speaking out loud like Panic does. Task like stops, stands at attention. You are just like me. Based on everything you have just told me. And for that, where my respect and where my trust in you was at a neutral stance, I feel I can understand you far greater. You have no waver in my trust of you. That, that, then let us begin. As you stand upon this mountain now, your city is burning. Uh, I turn towards where Alavast was. Or is that, like, out of my realm of... It's so out of your realm of vision. <laughs> okay, fair. I, I, I can feel it in your heart, a desire to go and help. But, but, but right now, there is someone who needs your, far, your help far greater. She, 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 she has been taken by a wyvern rider, and we must intercept them, and we are running out of time. Tass's ears droop down. Where do we go? Down the mountain. Go. I find my way down the mountain. Okay. Meanwhile, in the present, you guys all wake up at the base bottom of the pendulum. Oh. 
I am never gonna get used to that. Oh, I needed to unmute my mic. Our, so we were we were sleeping then. We we woke up like yep. actually. You guys were on the ground. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, we don't have to climb down. There's so much. <laughs> yeah, you uh, and me both. I thought we were gonna have to climb down. Ah. <laughs> uh. Borky puts his hand on his chin, back to seriously thinking again. Are there any other constructs around? Yeah, they're like encircling all of you. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> We're surrounded. Um, greetings. They all kind of go around Abby and help Abby up. He just like kind of like is currently still shut. Like, uh, uh, how do you call it? Oh my god, my English is fleeting. <laughs> Goodbye, English. Starting up, he's like waking Booting up. up. <laughs> oh, oh. Abby, are you okay? Abby, are you okay? I am Abby. fine. They all help you up. Hey, Oma. Did Thank anything you. happen while we were away? No, you have not been gone that long. It has only been approximately 32 minutes 32 huh. minutes i guess that's what uh, happened in the realm of oriara i look at my clock i guess time flies when you're scared existential ex 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 a lot uh it is eight it's about eight eight fifteen right now on the clock oh so it so it changed are we tired or hungry? You're a little hungry, but you're not that tired. Okay. Oh. And Task is nowhere to be seen. Where is Task? You seen red kobold? Red kobold. All, all the constructs like shake their head. One construct kind of turns to you, uh, Pan, and goes, Do not patronize us. Sorry. Notably... Log is also missing. Oh god. Uh, oh uh okay. Um sort of like a sort of like a, a a previous version of yourself, maybe if you like where's a where's like poofy pants? Do you know where that is? The one that they all kind of look to each other and then one concert goes the naked one, and they're like, oh, and they all nod. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 oh, he's, yeah. The poorly he's really living one. his best life, he is. Um, they, are he, not, they are not here. We have not seen them. Then they, might, they both must be with Oriara. Oh, you're okay, Log. I ended you. I was going to try and get your help for what comes next. It seems we must wait. Do you think we should tell the Silver Cobalts? Maybe we should. Uh, they are probably awaiting a response. Well. I guess we might as well try. What do you guys I, think? I mean, I suppose Ordara didn't exactly tell us when we would be seeing Task again. No. But we also have a mission. Yeah, we do, and I have thoughts right. on that. I have thoughts Borky, on that. Do you, do you have that silver? Oh, I do. Borky pulls out the the silver gear out of his pocket. That I do. Truthfully, this might kind be... of... Hmm? Go for it. Go for it. Oh, the whole time we was on there, I was just thinking. Hey. Kind of looks around at everyone staring. Is are they all staring at them still? Yeah, yeah. All the concerts are. I mean, they have nothing else to look at. They're just looking at you. Should we go somewhere private? More to shift the eyes around, like. <laughs> geez. Um, I think I'm just assuming think... they're all blinking in unison, just oh, to make yeah. it twice yeah, as yeah. terrible. Ah, we I might. Think... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. We might need their help, Borky. All things considered. 
Maybe. Mm, it depends. This is why we got to think about it. What help could they be? Uh, that's why we got to talk about this first. What well, help could I be? Well, that's why we got to talk about it first. Okay, guys, guys, can we take this to, 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 to a room? We should probably take this to the Silver Kobolds. I'm pretty sure they're going to get involved. We should talk about this first before we talk to anybody. No offense, guys. No, no offense. I they can all... take the... Or, oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can take the constructs back. It is time for them to return. Dad, let's, let's do that and we'll follow back a little bit. Sound, sound. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, the constructs go ahead. You guys follow behind them. Clank, eventually clank. making your way back to the the workshop of the silver cobalt. Uh, uh, who are all not working. They're all like kind of in a in a tizzy at the moment, all just kind of like panicking because all the constructs just up and went and there's clearly something going on. How how long is the walk down there? It's not that long, like 20 minutes. Okay. Mm. I, can, can we talk for that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <sighs> So I was thinking the whole time, right, about yes. all this. Well, since Log's not here, one of me plans ain't going to work. But it's fine. I can still do it. Just he, might come back. he might come back, Borky. Well, he might not. So you got to plan for him not to show up. But don't for all we know, we plan. might not see Task until Pan is getting married for the third time. What? Let's slow down here. No, no, no. You're gonna have like three wives or whatever. I don't okay, know. okay. Let's 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 focus. Because hmm. all the girls like him. <laughs> True. <laughs> but my thought is this. I mean, I don't think the leader of the blood axes if I come down there and be like, hey. So about Nash, not going to work anymore, bud. How about you wrap this up? Hey, how about you worship the things in the, in the mountain that be killing everybody? Mm. I don't think that's a, it's, it's, it's a non-starter there, I think. Well, yeah. hang on. Why no, would... no, no, oh, Grackles, I'd love to hear your reasoning why that would work. Would you really? Or are you just being coy? What? Well, just... Just fucking talk. <laughs> All right. Now our... think, think think about it. Think about it like an orc. If they're terrified mm -hmm. of that mountain and everything in there, wouldn't that make it stronger than them and possibly Nash? No, I was going there. to say exactly. It's... We've done something that none of them have been able to achieve. And you well, have the cog to prove it. I do have the cog to prove it. Now that's just part of the plan. See the cog itself. It's fantastic, and it could get it so far. Maybe a bunch of the orcs will be like, oh, well, look at that. He actually did it. I guess maybe there's some truth to that. And if I say you should drop Nash, well, oh, Yara, some of them might say yes. Well, that leader, oh, no, he's all in on Nash. That's his. That is his. He will not be easily swayed because the thing about an orc is they are very, very proud. And a chief even more so than that. Now, this congregate is only so far, but it's the first step of everything. Mark is looking at it with, like, with reverence. Now, what happens after we show them the cog? Well, there's a couple options. We could make the pitch. We could tell them the truth of what we saw. Hell, we can speak of the beast we fought. We do have its innards. But not only that, they might not believe us. Not all of them. And that's a problem. You see, one thing that can be done is... <sighs> Borky, like... Borky likes, like, Death Note levels of dark, like... Like, heavily... Heavily shadowed. Take a bite and eat it. Come on, do it like, come on, yeah. Um, uh, I could fight the chief. I don't know if I could even beat him. I could do that. And there's something else 
And Borky reaches into his back and pulls out something that he's had in his back for a long time. He puts the, he puts the cog into his pocket carefully. And he pulls out Lewis Strock's helmet. Let's start walking. You would go that far? For Adavasht? For everyone we work with? For everyone from Log to Scarbos to Professor Rumblefungus. Achoo! <laughs> to everyone, to the nose, to that Seuss dead place with the uncooked fish you go to, whoever goddamn reason. All of them. You bet your sweet ass I would, Greckles. But put this on him. And then we stroke. He won't be happy. That much is true. But if there is no other options. The Barky's looking at the mask right at him. You gotta ask yourself, I guess. How far are you willing to go to protect what's yours? At this point, you guys reach the bottom of the stairs, and immediately all the kobolds, almost like fucking nervous parents, run up to the different various like concerts. Like, where have you been? We were so worried. Like, like parents, like all kind of collecting their like <laughs> kindergartner <laughs> children. Uh, you watch as Gadget kind of shoves through the crowd and, and runs up towards you, uh, Obby, and goes, <sighs> "Object eight. Yes. Are you okay? You all just up and left. Yes. We saw Oriara." What? What are you talking about? Mm. Yeah, it, we we did. Sorry, Ara. It's crazy. Blessed gears and cogs. Where's your red friend? He's with Oriara. <laughs> All the eyes. Yeah, we're hoping she's going to spit them back out or something. Uh. With or yeah, they're hanging. We played cards. <laughs> you play cards. Well, technically, Oriara couldn't because she can't, given her nature. What? But it, it's a long story. That's right. Oriara is a woman. Yeah, you'd mm. you'd have to go. You'd have to go <laughs> to her realm or something. <laughs> you know. Oh, you know. Uh, 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 all the like a bunch of kobolds are like like looking super like scattered mind and then like half of them bow down to you guys oh yep. mm -hmm. oh. there we go <laughs> finally some fucking respect hey 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 we don't abuse this guys we got that mission yeah. uh, you Abby, don't abuse Abby, it is what, yeah, yes. did, you, did you meet her i, I did see her yes she kind of like leans up against like the cable and goes did she did she like you did you did she say you look you know the craftsmanship was pretty good <laughs> <laughs> my craftsmanship i mean i mean you're i mean you're i mean silver base form i mean the, the balance is perfect i mean you're good you're good to be fair oriara stated that all of her creations were equal flawed though they may be that's I'm right. I'm sure she was still proud. You said, like, Gadget looks a little hurt. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, she got, like, she got a C minus. <laughs> <laughs> you expected oh, a B no. and you got a D. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's. Just, just oh. reaches out his hand and just pats very lightly. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a sixty-four, almost like one point away from a C average, but still got the C. <laughs> still, still passed, but oof. sure, that's fine. She just kind of like saunters a bit. So, what what does she want us to do? I mean, she she tells us to build things, so she probably told you to told us to build something, right? Uh, um. Build? Well, she, she kind of gave us an open-ended job, which uh, could be handled in a multitude of ways. Um, 
we have some ideas. Borky, come on, let's get to the point. Uh, no, it's, I gotta really make a meal of it, Grekos. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Oh, um, <laughs> by by the way, uh, I don't I don't know if I don't know if I missed this detail. How long has it been since we came up and then went back down? I mean, it's been like forty five minutes. Man, it's felt like oh. days in there. <laughs> is, is my hair any longer like than it, than it was, or did that shrink back as well? Uh, you guys like even after that weird age puzzle, you guys are. Exactly what you look when you left. Like nothing. What does okay. it feel like to have your hair go back into your head? Yeah. <laughs> I like that idea. I wish you would never ask that again. <laughs> Borky would like to ask that question of Oriar. What's it like? You, you know that feeling when the poop you just took shoots back up inside your ass? <gasps> no! Oh, God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cass! No, Zito, you're laughing. Oh, I'm gonna roll a natural one, and I'm immediately going to die. <laughs> uh, Monty, can Zito stay in a, the Forbidden Realm? <laughs> yeah. he, Zito's Zito's lost in the realms with Mobius, the time streamer. Pooping back shit. and forth forever. <laughs> Jesus, what an exclamation mark with anyway, a funny-looking face guys, at the bottom. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> children. You guys are making this so less cool than it's supposed to I'm be. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I couldn't fine. walk away from it's that joke. It's fine. It's fine. All right, you know what it is? It's, it's been so serious. You should be used to this right now. We, we were stepping on eggshells so daintily this entire session. We're finally out of there. Yeah. So we're just like, we're just like, we're just like, just we're just disrespecting our surroundings. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get back in it. Okay. 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 Straight All face, right. Straight face. We were given a decree by Oriara. Oh, a decree. Great. So we have that... to make. Oh, it's not about um, making. Uh, you know, you it, it make, actually make crackles. a journey. Uh, make um peace with um uh, the Brookaxes. <laughs> it <laughs> what? It actually goes beyond that. She wants. She wants all of us to convert the blood axes to keep from your creations becoming corrupted. And that you should go into the world. We don't. So, so how you've been living? No well, more of that. Now you do. God what? said so. What? Uh, uh, no, no, no. There's no way Robald would tell us. Are you what questioning I... your God? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Keep going. You're, you're being so intimidating. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is how religion Gadget, works, right? <laughs> Gadget begins to move back and forth, kind of pacing in... in, in. So Oriara has designated that you yeah. are going yes. to make peace with the blood axes. Yes. Correct. And that if you do it, mm -hmm. we can't live on top of the mountain anymore. We have to... Well, I mean, we can, well, but we have to... And she does like kind of like a weird flight, it, flight kind of motion. It's more along the lines of stop hermiting and basically spread the good oh, word. Sorry, but it's it, a nice can, mountain, though. I mean, I know it's oh, denying no, the to... niceness of the mountain. It's just saying, like, if some of you are like, oh, this mountain, I'm not a fan of it. Oh, you're sexy people over there. You can go over there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, there's like dozens of panics out there. He gives you such a side glance panic, and a lot of the female kobolds go, uh, they kind of just learn <laughs> about it. All the women excalibur oh, face at the sight of you. Yeah. Well, I got I got horns. Come, come on. Come on. Here's the thing. It's a, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a shock, but the thing about this is it has to be handled very, um, when it comes to orcs, it's kind of like um, if you misstep, their reaction is slaughter. Yeah, we've noticed. Yes, um, and the leader of that group and a lot of them remind me a lot of uh, my old um clan. So, don't worry, I left them. Everyone exchanges looks and looks. No, back I left. You. I left them. I left them. I slept in a barrel, got loaded on a vampire ship. Long story. The thing What's is, what's a vampire? It's something that would love this mountain. You will find out when you move off the mountain. <laughs> it can also be sexy. Gentlemen, <laughs> there's this wonderful place called Tricadia. Ah, you panic, don't what? lie. One of the kobolds go, hot oh, sounds nice. Yeah. But I'm from there. 
you all actually have an advantage because they fear what you create. No, 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 no. Gadget walks up. Based on what I'm hearing, Oriara said you're going to deal with the orcs, and we have a giant dragon to fix. I never said that you would get involved, but they're terrified of what goes beyond <clears throat> their borders at the base, and we could use that to our advantage. <coughs> yes. I had an idea that might help. Along with our is it, idea. Is this the thing what? with the helmet and the... No, no, that's the... That's, that's, that's the plan C. That is the last thing I want to do. Okay, but plan C. What if I... Well, Borky looks over at all his friends. If all of us worked with you to make something that would strike fear and admiration and respect okay. into these orcs. Net, I'm going to stop you right there, okay? And well, she presses her hands together. Based on what your friend was saying, the one who's gone, <laughs> you have a bit of a time crunch. <clears throat> this weapon... <clears throat> has a deadline now we've learned and we need to get it done before that deadline assuming your friend even gets back here mm. I mean this with no offense but this whole going down to the mountain and trying to talk to orcs that sounds like a job for you okay so okay. we'll do uh, that but you have to you have to promise that you'll you'll come down and not you know be up in the mountain all the time because you know you gotta come down socialize live a little. They all but, they all immediately start groaning when you say socialize. They're like, uh, oh hey, god. Come on. Uh, oh, you, well, okay, okay. Let me simplify this. Shit. <laughs> in your scrap heap, what things have you made that you wouldn't mind parting with? They all just kind of murmur with each other, and Gadget kind of walks up and goes, "Abby." Yes. You're supposed to help them, aren't you? Yes. Gadget turns and looks. Abby. We'll part with Abby. For now. Okay. Look, you have the best craft... No, not the best by Oriara's, but you have the <laughs> best crafted construct made by cobalt hands, all right? Uh, but, but it's cute! Orcs aren't gonna respect cute! <laughs> Unless it kills a couple of them in the process, Borky. He watches his uh, gadget runs over and like rears open. Abby opens up your head, goes, I <laughs> sign fangs on them. Look, fangs. Conk, conk. I've never used them. <laughs> I mean, well, I've got fangs too, and I'm I adorable. Thought, so. I thought you said they look good for my dead doll. Okay, look, I'm going to be honest with you, Abby. That was half truth and half lie. Look. Just. Uh huh. Don't bring him here, right? That wasn't a part of the plan. Okay. Nope. Yeah. All right. I don't. But, no, I, I, don't I, guys, I, I think. I think we've got this covered. I mean, we've done harder <laughs> shit in the past with just with just us. We just won't have task firing down arrows and twenty sixing everywhere. The one thing that we would need help with is safely getting back down. Well, I mean, you said you cleared out that you know the rejects in that cave. Yeah, but there's all the traps and the goo. There's a lot yeah, of stuff. Does anyone remember the pattern for the floor? Because I don't. Yeah, that's the other thing. Well. Oh, God, that was draconic, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Gadget. Mm hmm. Abby looks up. Oriara did bestow this task upon us. Are you sure you have nothing to help us more than just me? This is for all of us and for her. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Nice. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> Let's hope I don't fuck this. <laughs> That's good. Is it good? Wait, I can't. Yeah. There we go. 17. 17. Yep. 17. Well, there was Operation Delivery. Ooh, watch Operation Delivery. 
follow me. <gasps> okay. <laughs> All right. You guys Shit, we follow, love you. You follow <laughs> Gadget. And she leads you into a space that smells like gunpowder. <laughs> and you guys walk in and you see a massive cannon. Oh. How are you guys with heights? She smiles. Meanwhile, we task. <laughs> <laughs> what a time. We Kirby now. Should we remute? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You make your way down the pendulum, which is awful. A bit easier because <laughs> you're going down. Um... At any time in which you complain, Aos is like, I, 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 I know. <laughs> Are you it, feeling this as well as as well as I'm feeling it? Yep, 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 yep. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> d d d d d don't be sorry. This pendulum was Oriara's idea. <clears throat> I gotta ask: Do you hold skepticism for the gods as well? Uh, 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 considering my current situation, a little bit. Yeah, it's fucking dangerously scary how similar we are. I, 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 I mean, I understand that they're forces. I, 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 I myself am a force. But, 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 but they can be real idiots sometimes. In, 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 in truth, no one's perfect. Holy shit, it's like me, but in ghost form. I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> I, I. I'm going down this mountain. All right, you eventually reach the ground floor. There's no one in this chamber, as it usually is. So, 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 so look. N n n no one knows you're here. And, and, and we have to keep it that way. What do you suggest? Go, go, go down the stairs and hang a r r r right... I do as he says. Okay, roll a stealth check. Please. <laughs> Please, 19. Just kidding. You've already rolled your stealth check. The f Nani the you, fuck? You rolled a 14. Oh, no. During the attack with the dragon, you oh, rolled a 14. No! <laughs> oh, no! You stealth and eventually turn a corner and run into a silver kobold who drops a bunch of iron and turns and seems shocked. Uh, um, why are you red? Immediately you hear in your mind, Aos, uh, th 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 think of a deception. Think of, think of a lie. I'm testing a new sort of paint to actually go along with the constructs. Do you not think that this red would suit Construct 8? Obby? Maybe. Yes. Oh, but wouldn't that cost... And you kind of, like, while they're pondering, like, you kind of just move past them and disappear around the corner. Yep. Because you, you succeeded the deception check. You make your way around, and you see these almost cyclic-like helicopter devices, these flight devices, standing in a row of threes. The, 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 there's our ticket. <clears throat> okay, are you feeling that not in what would be a stomach to a mortal? So, so, so somewhat, but that seems more like your problem and less of mine. Yes, it's totally my problem. I fucking have a crippling fear of heights. But no time like the present for the girl I somewhat actually have a huge attraction for. Get on board. <laughs> oh, fuck you! <laughs> you get on, and you begin to pedal, and you take off off the ledge, and you begin to hear a scream from by, Hey! Where are you going? That's fine! As you fall down the cliff. None of the That is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Uh, oh, lordy Lou. Uh, my time freak! Oh my god. <laughs>
task is his own grandpa. <laughs> there have been like six Futurama references. God damn it. Stop it. Monty. Bye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Austin. Bye, Austin. Holy Bye. shit, Monty. <laughs> What, yeah. Is this episode uh, wow. uh, 129, right? I believe so. Yeah, 129. Yeah, uh, 120. Is it 128? Eight. I believe it's eight. Let's find I, out. Because I don't have eight yet, and I've been backlogging. I, I thought we did 120. I was debating on it doing 128. Okay. I was debating on doing the Adventure Time thing and would have screamed, Youth Culture Forever! <laughs> 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 I'm well, sorry, this was a lot of was probably a lot to process, Shen. Speaking of Shen Pai, Shen Pai, where can they find you? Oh fuck, I was muted again. <laughs> 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 this keeps happening. Uh, it's yeah, fine. it was it was a lot to process. A lot. My head's like going like doing that. Yeah, you, wow, welcome, wow. Come be wow. a guest star. Oh, and immediately meet a god. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. About it. Meet your oh, god, you know, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Mom, so nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I came visiting yesterday. Sometimes a family isn't a, a, a father, a mother, and their child. Sometimes a family is a is a silver cobalt, a giant robot woman and their their robot child. <laughs> Christmas is fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay uh you can find me on twitch.tv slash shenpai on youtube at arrowvero and also on twitter at arrowvero i post a lot of art <clears throat> i do uh some variety stuff uh again as i said earlier i'm currently doing the hardest fight in final fantasy 14 which is the epic of alexander ultimate too much time has been spent on it and i feel victory is slowly nearing out, out of curiosity what do you get if you beat that you get an amazing title, which is literally just the Epic Legend. Okay. <laughs> no, the, uh, no, no, it's not the Epic Legend. It's the Perfect Legend. Um, and a really nice glowing weapon. And I'm going for okay. the axe. Neat. That's fair. Yeah. And uh, just a lot of rating, a lot of stupid stuff since uh, the game won't be getting updated for a while. So we have to make time do. <laughs> <laughs> and crying as, as PSO fucks my computer. <laughs> <laughs> What's PSO? Fantasy oh, Star Online. online. Oh. <clears throat> the forest theme the intensifies. West. After seven years. <laughs> and everybody's having issues. <laughs> Striking while the iron is still in the blacksmiths, technically. <clears throat> but hey. Hey. Zito, time cop. Where can they find you? Dead or alive, you're coming with me, dirtbag. No, that's 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 RoboCop. I know, but listen, it's, I, 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 I I don't want you to do an impression of well-known Mortal Kombat character RoboCop. You, I listen. If I could get it to load on my PC, I would totally do that. That was kind <laughs> of a precursor to that. Thank you. You can find me on Twitch at uh, Zito. You can find me on Twitter at CZ Backlash. You can also find me on uh, Patreon at the Ever Ingot Almanac, where I have written. Three books of varying fucking degree of of content creation. Uh, where it stands right now, it looks like the Malu, which are basically giant slug people, is looking like it's going to come out first on DM's Guild. Uh, following that up, I stream on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, where indie games happen, art happens. Uh, we might have another marble race because people love the shit out of that. I love it. And I, I know you do. I might make a grand. I might make a twenty-four person grand prix. Actually, a twenty-four track grand prix soon. So the marble freak zone might be a ongoing fucking race. You get so excited, and I love your energy, dude. But I, I mean, like in a game where you don't have to apply a lot of energy, you kind of have to put it somewhere. I know, but you do it really well. <laughs> Goomba. Yeah. Where are you at? I'm all over the place, man. You can find me at Gaijin Goomba literally everywhere, but specifically twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H. Streaming every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tuesday, Taiko Tuesday. I got to find a new version of Taiko no Tatsujin. Or finally order my stupid soundboard, or not soundboard, my switchboard thing. Uh, Saturday is usually my whatever is popular day, and cool. Sunday is usually the... Uh, Oh, God, Rising Sunday, good grief. Um, play, probably going to be playing a lot of Muramasa Rebirth because that game's amazing, and I don't know why I haven't streamed it before. 
Um, really quick, I don't know for people who may not have been here last week, I had released my first piece of homebrew. Thank you, Zito, for the inspiration. Um, the Tanuki. A lot of really good stuff went into that. Uh, it's selling really, really well. I wanted to thank you guys for that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be working on is probably the Kappa, because despite everyone wanting Kitsune, that's going to be a huge book. Um, what else? Oh, new video. Uh, I got a new video coming out um, probably Friday for public, tomorrow for all my patrons. Uh, it is going to be going over all of the folklore stories, all of the myths, everything from Spirit Away, and it's a 20-minute video. So, yeah, I, I'm just hoping that Studio Ghibli doesn't rip the video down. They can close it off to Japan and they can monetize it for themselves. I don't care. I just want it to be able to exist. And that is me. All righty. Hey, Distortion Devil, where can they find you? Hey, they can find me on Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Distortion Devil, where Tuesdays uh, I do uh, Ring Fit Adventure and Roll Initiative Wrestling, my D&D themed uh wwe 2k20 federation uh friday is friday funhouse where i play a lot of fun games with my friends we played some crucible last week it was pretty all right uh friday or saturday is uh we're continuing along with bayonetta we're gonna we're gonna see how uh it treats us <laughs> but uh it's um i don't know it's, it's just not not really what i was what i was hoping it was going to be and uh sunday we're making some devil may cry Five mods. Uh, also, uh, I'm going to plug this since I forgot to earlier. Oh yeah. Uh, if you if you want if you want uh, to look at an upcoming game, uh, an upcoming Diablo esque six player cooperative dark action RPG where you play as the dead to fight the living, go on over and check out Dead House Sonata. I am officially partnered with them, and I'll be making a portion of the revenue. From the sales using that link, and I will also be in it as a voice. I don't know oh, what I are? don't know what yet. Yep. Oh. Oh. Ah, know that. excellent. Yep. I don't. I don't. I don't know what yet. We. I uh, need to talk to Dennis and figure out what's going on with that. But yes, I will be in Dead House Sonata as as a, as a character, perhaps That's several, cool. maybe. Kick That's ass. Cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm, happy I'm to hear elated. that. I'm elated. I'm. I'm fucking elated about it. <laughs> so awesome to hear, dude. It's so freaking awesome to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Monty, where Hi. can they find you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, I have a lot of people freaking out at me right now. Cause... <laughs> oh, um, yeah? <laughs> um, uh, but you can find me at Monty Glue where I'm just going to be you know, tweeting about random shit, uh, art, and uh, you know, such things. Uh, you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Blue, where tomorrow at around like seven o'clock ish um, will be yeah. Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll beat the game. Um, and if you haven't caught the first half of me playing Devil May Cry, definitely check out my YouTube channel. I'm uploading all the parts there. Um, you can catch such quotable times as I think I'm out of bullets. And <laughs> why did she have to throw the motorcycle? Um, it's it's been a really fun time. I like I started by hating the game. I'm sorry, Connor. It, it started pretty terribly. No, I I, I get it. Mind. I get it. I understand. Uh, it is not aged well. But but now I'm like I really like it. After fighting a giant griffin bird on a on a ghost pirate ship, I'm like okay, I I, I get it now. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, also on Sunday, it's me Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We are finishing up that game at least plotline wise, and then after that, we're gonna purify all the Pokemon. And that will be our end goal. Additionally, I forgot to mention this. I really want to play uh, a, 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 I'd say a dating sim with heavy quotation marks. Um, oh, it's, what's right. it called? Pizza, pizza time? What's it called? Pizza game? No, it, pizza game is what it's called, pizza I think. Game. Oh, I, God, pizza game? I uh, I think I want to try playing that because it's apparently like I've watched the trailer and it, it made me laugh. So I kind of want to play that with some friends if I can gather up a, a group of people. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to gather maybe a few friends to play that uh, just at a random stream. Probably if I'm doing it like Friday, maybe there, um, there's there's a game I have to give to you later than Monty. It, it has to do with an a rogue A.I. who wants to who wants to give you a happy Valentine's Day. Oh, God. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, just... I don't know. It doesn't sound very wonderful. It sounds. Oh, no. trust me, it'll be fine. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, no. So definitely, definitely check that out. I think it, is that that's what it's called, right? Connor Pizza Game, the one you're friends with. I, I'm pretty sure it's Pizza Game. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We'll 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 check it out. It's it's some sort of dating sim with quotation marks. They keep all the typos in. It's great. And I, as a writer, I think I'm gonna adore it, at least for that. Um, but yeah. Uh, so there you go. Sorry. Uh, don't, why are you apologizing? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where tomorrow we got Multiverse Nexus Wrestling, our community-generated wrestling stream, and it's a lot of fun. We're on the road to Multivania, our big event at the, I believe we're going to be going for the July 4th weekend, so that'll be July, yeah, the, yeah, you know, Happy America Day. We'll be doing it then. But yeah, aside happy from America. that, Happy America Day, everybody. Uh, aside from that, this uh, weekend, I believe we will be throwing into, because we just finished up South Park, the Stick of Truth, we're going to be South Park, The Fractured Butthole, the sequel game, which actually has a good combat system and isn't broken like the first one. Um, as well, we'll be playing uh, with, I believe, is Zoran the Bear from, of course, uh, Emperor Has Text to Speak. He will be joining and me, and me and him will be playing Orcs in Total Warhammer to at some point as well when we have some more time and that'll be this weekend or starting the beginning of next week to uh and friday oh my god i'm jumping all over the place friday uh around one o'clock i believe or 11 o'clock i'll have to double check that i'll tweet it out uh myself lenny bator and kaiser necker are going to be playing some streets of rage Ooh. yeah I know. it's the new game that came out the side scroller beat him up. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh and yes, and that is, I believe, it from me. Oh, quick announcement. Also, um the Monster oh. Prom is out on Switch. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monster Prom is out on Switch. Uh I voiced the coach in it. And uh it was really awesome being in that. So if you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out if you want. Uh, I do have just a quick announcement just in terms of streaming schedule. Just I forgot to mention it in the beginning. I should have mentioned it before. Mm -hmm. um, so just heads up, guys. Uh, this coming month, uh, it, it is subject to change, but even regardless. Uh, this next week is my birthday on the 4th of, of June. Um, so, excuse me. Um, so we will have a, an episode on, on, on uh, next week. So the 3rd, we will have an episode of The Unexpectables. Um the weekend of uh, the 6th, we will not be having a Prince Division episode as I, I'd like to celebrate my birthday <laughs> with my friends. I guess. Um, and additionally, on top of that, uh, the 17th, there will not be an episode because um, I'm actually traveling, hopefully, that day. And if not, I, I wouldn't mind just a day off. Just I could use a little bit of a rest. But um, just a heads up on that, just to let you guys know. Um, and we will, we will notify you guys with each episode uh, when that happens. So, yeah. Just a heads up on that. All righty. And there's lots of, uh, by the way, uh, someone suggested a title. I forget who it was. I believe it was Kramu, or at least that's the one I saw. The episode name for this episode could be Oriara's Task. Ooh. Mm, mm. I know. I thought it was pretty strong. That's why I remembered it. That's pretty good. That's like a double entendre. Is that a double mm -hmm. entendre? There was yeah, a yeah. that isn't. I would assume is not as spoilery, but I like it. But that, this is just me. Followed footsteps. I personally mm. prefer Oriara's task. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I understand yeah. that. I super understand that. But I was just like, hey, if you don't want to name drop something, that's there. I think it's vague enough. I mean, it's pretty yeah, obvious enough. we're going. We're going to Oriara's thingy place fair land. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, as well. Okay, so we've got to shout out some bits here, real fast. Oh, that's a shout out here. Um, oh my goodness, you guys would be very kind. The bastard, that bastard with two thousand wow. bits, wanted to it's drop by and say thank you. I just got my high school diploma last week and wanted to thank you guys for hey. being a harmless distraction for me to study with. Ah, huh, well, thank you yeah. so much. Uh, Mud Martin and and Allosaurus, Jai Kaiden giving us up to Rune Walker. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. I want to thank Stray Tinker with the fourteen hundred bits. Feel the good boy. Feed the good boy for the hype train. Thank you to Coldest for the 500 bits as well. The Jake for the 500 bits. Oh boy, do I have theories now. Ah, <laughs> uh, Coldest, thank you so much as well. The 500 bits. Uh, Demon Chicken of Doom, thank you for the bits. Bernal Vaughn with a hundred, with a thousand bits. Episode title, Players in the Machine. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Thank you for the thousand bits though. Codename Chaz with a 500 bits. Repent, Kobold Kin, said the TikTok ma'am. 
<laughs> 500 minutes ago, someone's a goal. Oh, kids gotta go outside and play. <laughs> the Goblin Review. The Goblin Review, thank you for the 515 bits. Want to thank you, Monty, for turning me into a diehard dice. Turning on to diehard oh. dice. Got my first two set of mental dice, and I love them about 15 minutes after you mentioned them on Prince of Vision. I, okay, mm. I, I may have splurged and got like a giant pack of dice from them because they had a big sale going on. Um, I bought 20 sets of dice from Die Hard Dice in a big box to give away at events because um, it was like a super, super good deal. So um, mm. they're really, really great. Like, honestly, like I've I bought in a metal set from them. I've also bought several like normal <laughs> types and I bought in, I, I bought you a set, Zito. I bought Connor a set and I bought Gaijin a set. Yep. Of nice mm. metal dice. They're very, very good. I, I mm. highly recommend them, and their service is very excellent. They charge very fairly, too, for the dice. They're very, very nice dice. Uh, lovely Lorelei with a 500 bit. You know that title for the Dragon Invasion? History Repeats seems even more a props right now. Ooh. That's there were true. moments where, like, people were theorizing and talking about stuff, and I had to, like, not smile. Like, I was just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have a camera on myself, because there were moments where I'm just like, they could need uh, me. Like, Alan <laughs> ate... Allen 8844, Backcard 20, uh, Rebothy 1997. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Ringwraith with 1,500 bits. No message, just bits. Well, thank you so much. Ringwraith. Greatly appreciate that. And Scarper Jack, thank you for the 400 bits. Connor, Already I just, got. I just realized that we could. Who's that Japanese comedian who always wants the mints to like sponsor him? Oh, endo. <laughs> yeah, we we should like we should do that with Die Hard Dice, where it's like you could spoil. Like, oh my look, god! Yeah, I'm joking. Be really yes, funny. Die Hard Dice, please sponsor us on this <laughs> on this game that does not use physical dice. Please sponsor. <laughs> exactly, sponsor us, Die Hard Dice. <laughs> 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 we have a running gag. Anyway, uh, yes, thank you guys so much for coming. Sorry, what you were saying, Kurt? My bad. Oh, that that we're done. <laughs> oh. Wow. Hey. We got all caught up there. So that's uh, pretty much just down to whoever you want to raid, Monty. Uh, wow, there's not a lot of people on right now. My bird. <laughs> oh, is, uh, is Maru there? She's literally sitting on top of my microphone. Speak for us, Mari. <laughs> Mao. She's she's relaxed. If, oh. if um, well, no, you guys, you, you guys don't know him. Never mind. Uh, I've got I've got a friend who's live right now that just started doing Twitch because YouTube's been shafting him super hard. But, what's his um, name? What does he do? Um, his name is Chadtronic. Uh, he oh, started off. Okay, so you I know, know Chadtronic. Yeah, know that so name. yeah. So Chadtronic. Um, I actually was able to meet him in person a couple times at some cons, and uh, he does a. His theme is just like retro nint, but like Nintendo or not Nintendo. Sorry, um, Nickelodeon slash Cartoon Network like '90s stuff. Okay. Uh, um, I've seen him in my recommended, which probably is because I watched some of your videos. So, Chet, no, Chetronic's really, really cool. He's been struggling because the uh, the Copa thing really hurt him. Because despite the fact that he was he does this stuff out of nostalgia for nostalgic people like myself, YouTube thought that oh you're for kids, right? And mm. so it's been an uphill, god awful battle for him. So okay, well let's let's rate him. Yeah, he. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Can you, can you type his name into the general so I can just? Uh, yes, I can. Yeah. One hot second. Thank you, sir. Everybody else, you guys are okay with that as well? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. He just got started too, so. What should what should the raid message be, Gaijin? What do you think? Gaijin sent us. Gaijin sure. Sends, sure. Sure. We'll go with that. Gaijin sends his regards. Oh no, it's love. I have love for that man. <laughs> go. Send the regards. I got to see his reaction. Okay, good. Yep, yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs>